Rise and Grind Gamers, it's time to read this mail. Oh, no, no, no. Zach, I don't know what, what stream you think you signed up for today, but we're not reading mail today. That will come. Don't worry. That will come in a future stream. We'll finish off reading the mail in The Price of Perfection. But today, we have something probably a little more intense than, than that. <laughs> if you look at the the, the description and, the, and all the rules and stuff, it's, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to explain it as we get into the actual game, but how's everyone doing today? How is everybody doing today? I'm a little tired, not going to lie. I had to stay up later than I expected last night because uh, my mom was flying home from out visiting my sister and I had to pick her up at the airport. She was supposed to like arrive around like 11 p.m., but her flight kept getting delayed, 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 and long story short, I didn't get home till like 3 a.m., so that was fun. It was a great time, but thankfully this wasn't a super early stream either, so I can uh, I was I was able to sleep in, get my breakfast done. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling well rested, ish. Hi Argon, this challenge will be interesting to say the least. I am I've I've done a little bit of practice, Poseidon. I didn't want to go into this completely, you know, cold feet, just completely. You know, yeah, I've, I've done a little bit of preparation, and you'll see that once we actually hop into the game here, but it's going to be rough, I think. I'm not the best when it comes to, to skull caverning at the best of times, like when I give myself every possible advantage. So, I mean, the best way to learn is to throw yourself into the deep end, right? That's how, that's how we all learned how to swim. Your parents just throw you in at the deep end of the pool and uh, hope you don't drown. Dwarf dagger only. I'm not gonna lie, I was tempted, but unfortunately, I've I've had to forsake the dwarf dagger for this run. You'll see what I mean, just because it's gonna be we're gonna need every advantage we can press out of this. Argon, are you sure you want to do this? Absolutely, Autumn. Absolutely. Yeah, that, that is not how you learn how to swim, by the way. If prospective parents do not do that to your child. Uh, you're liable to traumatize or worse. So your mileage may vary. Either way, happy to see everyone in here. Familiar faces. How's your guys' week been? Am I stalling just because I don't want to get into the, into the difficulty of this challenge? Maybe. But I, genu I genuinely do like talking with you guys a little bit before the stream starts anyway. So, To learn you walk, you have to learn how to skydive. I have not heard that one, Karita. He finally gets rid of the inferior weapon. You might want to You might want to watch your words there, Andrew. It's been a good week, Rai. Been a good week for sure. Mostly because I've been getting back to streaming and stuff, and it, that's been very nice. Don't forget to hydrate. Thank you, Nightbot. I do have my water here. I've had a bit of a cough today, but uh, I don't think it's anything noteworthy. All right. Please tell me to pack for this move. If I hear you say that, I'll actually do that. Koji, I give you my permission to be a lurker. And uh, go pack for the move while you're listening to the stream. If that's or or you, I mean, you don't have to listen to the stream either. You can listen to whatever else you want. But I think listening to something in general will help with that whole process. Best of luck to you. I hope it's not a huge move. Moving is uh, moving is pretty rough. I've had I've been lucky. I haven't had to move too many times in my life. But every time I have, it's been an ordeal. That's for sure. So excited to see how crazy this is going to be. You and me both. Speaking of which, I think it's time to stop stalling and just get into the get into the nonsense here. Do we have any mods in chat, by the way? I see Nightbot, but we might be flying flying modless in Seattle today, which is fine. I trust you guys enough. All right, let me pop over to Stardew here and show you what we're working with, okay? Show you what the plan is for today. For those who don't want to read the description or anything like that. So, here I am, not on Frugal Farm, as you can see. This is this is a farm I've created for this specific uh, scenario that I've concocted for myself. Chloe's got her nice iridium drip. Everything is prepared. I also, you will see that time is frozen up here. I'll explain that in short order. I mean, that's just, it's a mod, so it's, uh, but we're, time is frozen for right now. Um... And yeah, basically, I'm going to be going to the Skull Cavern. I'm going to go 
I'm going to have some self-imposed restrictions on myself, namely, no food or drink, that, it, that includes any food and drink that we happen to find in the cavern itself, and no buffing beforehand, just no eating or consuming of any goods, of any material, nutritious goods on this day. No um, bombs or explosive ammunition. I do think using bombs that find that we find in the uh, in the cavern is fair play, but no bringing bombs into the cavern. Simultaneously, no bringing staircases into the cavern. But if you happen to get 99 stone and craft a staircase, that's fine, I think. Um, monster musk. You can see I have 999 monster musk, which spray this to draw on more monsters out of hiding. I think it doubles the amount of monsters spawned. It, I don't know if it's exactly double or if it just increases them by a lot. But either way, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be a lot of monsters in Skull Cavern. Um, yeah, so mo Monster Musk is going to be permanently on. Is there anything else that there that I had? Oh yeah, oh yeah, of course. I mean, you can't have a Skull Cavern challenge without the Skull Cavern invasion. So Skull Cavern has been invaded by powerful monsters. Make it to level 101 piece. Spoiler alert: If we make it to level 100, um. It doesn't like stop being invaded. It's still invaded for the rest of the day, so it's it's just gonna be there forever. So there's that. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see. You also will see a timer in the lower left hand corner. I have that here because I want to go. The way I want to do this, instead of like you know going to Skull Cavern at the start of the day and just seeing how far I can get in a single day before like time runs out, I kind of wanted to. Throw thing, throw this on its head a little bit. I'm gonna set a time limit on myself of an hour. The stream will probably go longer than an hour for the record, but for this first part, I'm gonna go set it for an hour. I'm gonna leave time frozen up here. That way, the only limitation for how far I can get is my own skill, and I can do as many runs as I need to because I'm probably gonna die. Spoiler alert! But the deepest floor that I get to in that hour is going to be my record, and I don't know what I want to shoot for, I don't know what's realistic. I can't, I want to try and get to floor 100 at the very least, but I don't know if that's uh, l likely to work. Why do I have three daggers? We'll get into that, Karita, we'll get into that. I'll show you my setup here in a, in a brief second. But yeah, so I'm going to go for an hour, time frozen, so time will not pass in the Skull Cavern. It's just going to be down to pure skill and trying to get as far as I can in a single hour. I don't know, I mean, without without staircase, oh, I do also have, uh, I should show this, I have max daily luck turned on here. That's the only like cheat I have on in here, basically, that and the, and the frozen time. Um, otherwise, move must be normal, inventory, inventory size is max, I got nothing. Uh, I do have my skills leveled up. I've got scout, wait, it was scout and acrobat for my combat skills and Miner and Prospector for, for my Miner skills, not that I think that matters. Um, yeah, that's the only, like, those are the only real cheats I have on. Do I have the Lucky Charm? I do, I believe. We also have Tim Beeb here as moral support. Special Charm, Skull Key, yep. Looking good, looking good. Why do you have so much money? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm not going to spend any of it, I'll tell you that right now. Alright. Um... So yeah, that's gonna. I think it's gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be interesting to see that because instead of instead of relying on like the in-game timer, maybe we'll do some runs after that where I turn off the time frozen thing and see how far I can get just like a normal run. But I think this will be interesting to see. And if you want to compete at home, or you can get a similar setup. I don't know. Maybe I'll share this save file or whatever. Then you can uh, you can figure it out from there. But I think it'd be interesting to see what other people can do. So the setup here, we got some stuff to go over. I got the Iridium Pickaxe, of course. If I don't have bombs, I'm going to need this. It is efficient, which means that it does not consume energy upon use because I'm not going to have any way to replenish energy. So I think this is kind of a must. Um, I've got the Infinity Gavel retextured as the, as the Dragon Tooth Club here. Max damage with the Artful Enchantment, which decreases the, the time I have to use its special move by half. I have come to see the light and the power of the gavels because it's um it's good for crowd control what can i say i've tested it it's it, yeah there's, it's it's a smart thing to have um we do also have three daggers though all of them are iridium needles by the way they just look different because it, it helps me to know what i need to use each of them for they're all iridium needles all max crit chance with three different enchantments we've got the vampiric enchantment which gives a chance to restore hp when we kill a monster 
Um, we got the Crusader enchantment, which will let me kill mummies, and it will do extra damage to mummies and ghosts in general. We have um, the Bug Killer enchantment, so that I can kill those armored bugs, just get as many kills as possible. And it's important to get as many kills as possible, because one of my rings here, in this combined ring, gained a little health every time you slay a monster. That's the Vampire Ring, which I think gives you two hit points every time you kill a monster, which is not a lot, but the amount of monsters we're liable to face, I think, makes that worthwhile. Uh, I also have gained a short speed boost whenever you slay a monster, just, you know, gotta go fast. Uh, we also have, did, when you, whenever you defeat an enemy, they explode, so that'll be helpful in clearing out rocks and stuff. That's the Napalm Ring. And we have Prevent Damage from Slimes, which there's going to be so many slimes, and I think having, like, being able to be safe around at least one monster in this place is going to be very important. I also have the Dragon Scale Boots for maximum defense. And yeah. I think that's, uh, I think that's it. Can anyone see any improvements to this to this setup before we go in? I thought about having a phoenix ring to revive me from death one time, like in reserve, so that I could swap it out when I get to like really low health or something. But who needs that? But if you're anticipating dying, you're not you're not playing the challenge properly. You just you gotta you gotta trust in your own skills, right? Lucky bow. All right, chat. We're, we're gonna have to have a poll here. Do we want to go with the fashion hat to match the drip, or do we want to go Lucky Bow? I was humming and hawing over this. I think I actually have... Oh, I don't have Lucky Bow in here anymore. But I do have the item spawner active, so you know what? I can just go... To, that's not how you spell Lucky. Well, lucky Bow. It is Lucky. It's it's made of pure gold. You know what? It's, it still matches pretty well, so let's just go with the Lucky Bow. People, The people want the, want the, want the Lucky Bow. Depends what color it is. It's green. Have to have the lucky bow. It is It is lucky. It is lucky. Speaking of lucky, we just gotta double check. You know, max daily luck. We love to see it. Alright, I think we're all set then, right? I think we're all set then. Let's take a crack at this. I'm gonna get to Skull Cavern. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop my monster musk. And then I'm going to start my timer. Like I said, I'm going to go for an hour. However deep I can get in that hour across however many runs, that's going to be my record. Maybe we'll try this again on future streams and see how it goes. Either way. Shame the bow is green. Die it. You cannot die the bow, but... You know what? It's it's Chloe's classic. It's traditional. It's probably not going to be the only run we do today, for the record. Like, because I anticipate dying very quickly. Also, I'm I'm not feeling this music. I think I want to go in-game music for this. I think I think getting the ambience of the mines and stuff is gonna be more beneficial to my mental space than uh, than whatever the heck that was. Let's go a little music here. Let me know if it's too loud or too quiet. That sounds fine to me right there. But actually, maybe a little lower. Optimism, 100%, absolutely, exclamation point optimism. All right, we're here at the Skull Cavern at the entrance. I'm going to quickly... Oh gosh, what have I signed up for? Chat, am I going to regret my decisions? Thumbs up in chat if I'm going to regret this instantly when I go down to the Skull Cavern. Thumbs down if no. I just want to get a, a barometer of how chat's feeling about these rules. The no food is really going to be what kills it, I think, like, guaranteed. <laughs> Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, ch thumbs down, thank you, Chance. No, never, positivity. Not instantly, you don't think instantly? We'll see. Okay. Let me make sure, because I was testing with stuff. Uh, infinite health and infinite stamina are not on. Just want to make absolutely sure of that before I go in here. Alright. Let's get this, chat. Three, two, well, Monster Musk. Alright, get the hammer ready. The big old, big old dragon tooth hammer. Three, two, one. Timer, start. Okay. Let's get in here. This is a lot of monsters, but crowd control. I've, I've been doing practice. I've been doing practice. Okay. That's some red cabbage seeds. Sorry to anyone who might be looking for those. I'm stealing all your luck today. What the heck? Did I split that? I, did I split that royal serpent in half, or was that a separate royal serpent? That was scary. Okay, get this, get this trash lord out of here. Okay, we're good. Um, bug killer 
get get yeeted. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna just go for staircases basically whenever I see them, I think is probably the play. Oh, that was good. That was that was a good that was a good hit. Our health is doing okay so far. I mean, it's not it's it doesn't take much in this place, is the problem. For uh for your health to dramatically drop. Like a single a single big swarm of monsters. Ooh, this is a big bug floor. That napalm ring. Napalm ring is gonna come in clutch, I think. That was good, okay. I'm gonna that's that's a lot of monsters. I'm gonna keep trying to look at chat in uh as I do this, but obviously there's a lot going on here. Okay, try and sneak over to this guy. Stabby stab. There that that was our vampiric enchantment right there. Our vampire enchantment paying off. Anytime you see that green number, that's how much we heal. It doesn't trigger every time you kill a monster. But um hopefully it'll be more often than not here. That's a yes, it's so many monsters, right? With the monster musk. I get the feeling that we're gonna see like, I feel like it's going to get worse the deeper we get in, but I don't know if that's actually true or not. Get out of here. Can I kill him with the vampire enchantment? Okay, I mean, that was probably not worth it at all, but... Okay, good stuff. Chloe's hair looking so cool <laughs> when it's glowing green with the monster musk. I feel that, honestly. It kind of makes it match the lucky bow, too. To a certain extent. Oh, oh, double staircases. Get me, get me to that. Give me to that. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> that was a little spooky. Okay. Chat, put 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 your guess in chat right now. How how deep do you think I can get on this first run? That's a bomb right there. Like I said, bombs, I'm going to I'm going to use the ones that I have that I happen to get in Skull Cavern. I'm also going to, you know, put my stone up here so I know when I'm able to craft a staircase. How deep do you think I can get on this very first run? 15 to 30? 17? 69? 100? We're off to a good start here. No, no, oh my god. No, um, no shafts or anything yet. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh gosh. Part of me wants to, like, hang out on these floors a little bit to, to kill the monsters and try to heal up with the between the vampire ring and the vampire enchantment. But I also have that timer to worry about, right? Because I, I need to get as far as I can in an hour here. But I don't know if, if trying to bank everything on my very first run is going to be the smart play. Oh dear god, that's a lot of bugs. You know what, I see, the, I see the ladder right over there, but bugs are easy to kill. So I think we farm up a little bit of HP. It's 2 HP per bug. We did, <laughs> there's, there's, there's a few bugs on this floor. You might be seeing one or two extra bugs compared to usual. That's okay. They're not royal serpents, so I think we're fine. <laughs> That's so many bugs. Look at this. This is insane. This is the power of monster musk plus the plus the invaded floors. We're, we're farming HP today. The problem is if I take a single hit from a single bug, that's like, I don't know, like they do, they do like a lot of damage, I'm pretty sure, because you're not normally getting hit by bugs, so if you do, then that's a big mistake that you got to be punished for. Okay, I think that's a pretty decent amount of HP. We're gonna go in so much meat that I can't even use, man. Oh no, oh good god, okay. I don't have enough uh, stone to craft a staircase either, so we just have to kill. We, we have to clear out this floor. All right, slimes are easy because we have the slime charmer ring, so we can use them for, for good heals. Look at this, we're like almost up to full HP again. Good stuff, excuse you. I'm gonna get this guy so that he's not shooting at me while I'm taking out the rest of these slimes. Rules say no staircases. I, that's I, that's something I went over at the start of the stream. Uh, I can craft staircases if I happen to get enough stone in the cavern itself. Which, I mean, takes a lot. <laughs> to, to, like, it's 99 stone per staircase. I just can't bring in any staircases beforehand. Same deal with bombs. I can use any bombs that I happen to get in the cavern from, like, monster drops or whatever. But I can't, uh, I can't bring in any beforehand. I think, I think it's a reasonable... Excuse you. You know what? We're at, like, max HP just about anyway, so I might as well just use... This is fat. This is gonna be faster to kill everything. Yeet! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so good. Infested floor. This is, it's such a great floor. It's so good. Alright, that was... 
a, a way down has appeared. Normally, a staircase drops from the last monster, but not this time, so we gotta make a long trek back here. This is a good challenge. I can't tell if that's sarcasm or not, Rai, but I'm having a great time so far. Oh my god. Okay. Everyone calm down for a second. This is why we got the Crusader enchantment, specifically for floors like this. Uh, yikes, though. Oh, nice, nice. I thought I heard a staircase, but apparently not. There we go. Okay. Good stuff. There's there's a staircase on this floor at the very end. There always is on this layout. Excuse me, I'm a mo my monsters? Okay, there they are. <laughs> I was going to say, don't I still have my monster musk up? I definitely do. Chat, when my monster musk inevitably, inevitably runs out, I'm going to need to rely on you to, to let me know. Uh, goodbye. Okay, ghosts I can kill without the Crusader enchantment, it just does extra damage to them. But I think killing them with the Vampire enchantment is going to be smart, so I can have a chance to get some extra HP out of them. Uh, I'm going to go for this this son of gun right here. No, no HP, but that's fine. No sarcasm, good challenge, thank you. I'm doing better than I thought I would right off the rip here, I'll tell you, I'll tell you that. I had some practice, but not like a crazy amount. 414 so far. Still still no shafts to speak of, which is unfortunate. Give me a little heal, please. A little just a little baby heal. Okay. And mummy. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. The ghost noises. There's so many ghost noises. I, I always forget that the mummies make ghost noises. I feel like they're supposed to make, like, a deeper, more guttural noise. But they never do. Oh, that was good. Okay. Alright, a little spicy here. That's okay. If I can save these slimes, I actually... You know what? Go for the, Yeah, they go for the heals on these slimes right now while that royal serpent is out to lunch. Excuse me. Thank you. Okay. Okay, now we can eat that guy. That's good. Those spi seeing the spicy eels drop and knowing that I can't actually eat them is, uh... It's <laughs> it's kind of sad. It's so bittersweet. Like, those spicy eels would be so helpful. But I just literally can't use them. Makes me makes me want to play Stardew right now. Hey, nothing's stopping you. I mean, maybe something's stopping you, but I'm certainly not. Feel free to play along at home. You might not have the, the mods to have this, like, full setup that I do. I would be interesting. I don't know if anyone's like done. I'm sure. I'm sure people have made skull caverns like crazy hard before, but I've never. I looked at. I looked into it. and I never saw like, like going as nuts as I did with these rules. But you know what? It's not so bad so far. These vamp. The vampire ring and the vampire enchantment. They're pulling their weight so far. What can I say? I didn't think they'd be this good. Uh oh. Bit of a yikes floor, but that's okay. We just get out of there. Get, get lucky that way. Same here. Okay. I'm waiting for one of those... You know, there, there, there's like those big, really open floors that have like a lot of monsters that spawn in them. I think like one, that, that one bug floor earlier on was kind of like that. But there's like floors that can happen like that that have like royal serpents and stuff on them. Ooh, a shaft. Okay, this is... I mean, this does damage me, but I think it's still worth it. Shawnee, do you made a challenge mode? I should go check that check out that video if he's uh, if he's got one. That'd be a fun time. First iridium, you love to see it. This is going shockingly well, really. I'm I'm kind of amazed. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Skull Cavern just isn't hard. Hot take: Skull Cavern not actually hard, even with all all the all the stops pulled. Good stuff. Okay. Probably gonna. I don't know how long Monster Musk actually lasts. Um, ex get me out of here. My dagger recharge. I'm used. To, I'm used to having the Artful Enchantment on my dagger, so it, like the special move recharges real quick. But with these enchantments, I do not have that luxury. More mummies, please. I want my mummy. Okay, good stuff. I'm gonna re up on Monster Musk real quick. Hot take: Archon's just really good. I don't think that's the case. I've I've done little combat practice in since the price of perfection. But uh I don't think I'm like crazy good. I'm not using animation canceling either, which could make this go like a whole lot faster for sure. 
But I think without even without animation canceling, we're doing alright so far. Uh, yikes, okay. There's any single hit from a monster. Like, like it, can, it can be going so well, but a single hit from a monster, or if you get, like, tag-teamed by two monsters, can really mess you up, because it takes so much to heal. <laughs> it takes, like, luck, or, just, like, see, like, 21? That's, like, 10 monsters worth of healing that I gotta do now. Without getting hit again. Uh-oh. Um, yikes. <laughs> okay, just gotta bob and weave, bob and weave. This is one of those open floors I was talking about. This this is where the monster musk really becomes apparent. I don't think staircases can spawn on that like middle that middle sand, can it? Can they? So I think I gotta lure these guys up here to try and get staircases. Good stuff, good stuff. Hey, what's up, Soph? Finally caught a, a post price of perfection stream. Glad to have you here for for whatever insanity. This is. I was actually going to do something different on today's stream, like a different Skull Cavern sort of related content, but then I had the idea for this, and I really wanted to try it. So that's just where we're at right now. Okay. I don't know if that's all the monsters, but I feel like going after rocks might be the smarter play here. I do see another mummy over there. There we go. Okay. Finally out of that floor. Only to be thrown back into the fray. Not for long, though. Not for long. Yo, oh, okay. Okay, get some good luck here. Good luck. 10% luck. 20% skill. My hot take is that I don't like animation canceling. I mean, I've... I've I've tried it a little bit. Like, I have the animation canceling script at my disposal. But, it, I don't know. I mean, it'll take more practice to get good with it. But I, I also have, you know... Not necessarily an ethical dilemma with it, because <laughs> that makes it sound way more intense than it is, but I'm sure it's not a hot take to necessarily say that animation canceling feels kind of like cheating. By the way, I'm going to freaking die. These mummies are actually kind of kind of destroying me, and I can't heal off them either because I can't kill them with this vampiric enchantment. So I can just I can only heal off of the little bit that I get from the vampire ring. I gotta be a little more careful here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take it even though it does hurt me. Okay. Oh, give me that, give me that. Please, please give me the heal. A single heal. I'm not gonna take that because I actually want to go looking for more monsters. These bats are pretty easy to kill, and if I get a heal off, proc off one with this vampire enchantment, I think we'll be in a good spot. Just gotta... Okay, good stuff. The only problem is I can't get hit. <laughs> Otherwise, this is kind of all for naught. That's good, that's good. Still no heals, but... Alright, it was worth a try, I think. I still got I got a little bit of healing from the vampire ring. Yikes, okay. Oh, that was not good. We're at floor 41 so far. I don't know how much deeper we're going to go. The HP is not promising. Uh, you know what? Use the bomb there. I haven't been using any of the bombs that I've gotten so far. I might as well use one for to kill the last mummy there. How long until that unique challenge video is released? Um, depends on how nice the game feels like being to me. To be honest with you, there's still like some stuff to record, and it's kind of heavily luck based. So I gotta, I'm gonna go for it. Yikes. Okay, don't just sh everyone chill. Everyone chill for a second. All right, we're good. Yo, it, that was a, that was a clutch heal. Thank you, slime. That was an amazing heal. Yeah, I'm hoping that new challenge video will come out sooner rather than later. But I don't have a I don't have a time frame on it necessarily. It's gonna take it's gonna take a lot less editing work than the than the price of perfection, which I think kind of goes without saying. I want I want to get some heals if I can here. That was not a heal. That was the opposite. But some some of these slimes could these slimes are just HP waiting to happen. As far as I'm concerned, because we're immune to them with our slime charmer ring. And even if I don't get the vampire proc like that right there, I can still rely on the on the two HP that I get from them from the ring. I've officially surpassed your prediction. I'm happy to hear that. I'm I'm doing better than some people might have expected. The predictions were kind of all over the place, though, so it's, it's... Oh, gosh. Oh, this is not the best place to be at. Everyone chill, though. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. 
That was a little spicy. Still a little spicy. Okay. Bug killer. Get him out of here. Uh, you wanna you wanna heal me up, little crab buddy? Little crab buddy? I think I'm gonna try and kill this royal serpent with the vampire. Didn't work out in my favor, but it could have, and that's what counts. Oh no. This is not smart. This is not smart. This is not smart. I was trying I'm trying to get greedy with my heals. I really just need to clear those guys out of there when they when they come around with the with the knockback. Ew, spiral floor. I do have enough H or enough stair enough uh, stone for a staircase. I could staircase past the spiral floor. It might be worth it. But honestly, I think saving the limited amount of staircases we're liable to get for infested floors is the smarter play. I think it's I think it's going to be much better stone-wise cuz we're not going to get very many staircases period. Okay? Yeah, I think he's gone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not going to like fast swapping to to the weapons that I need at the right time either. Yikes. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're out of here. We're out of here. Back to another mummy floor, which is honestly not that much better. Get toasted. Ow. <laughs> okay, I want to try and kill this ghost for a heal, maybe. No luck. I said floor 50, but it looks like you'll beat that. I'm at floor 47 right now. It's looking pretty promising. But there's still a, a... I mean, anything can happen in those few floors. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Case in point. Just stand in the way of a bug. All right. That's... I think I'm just gonna have to take that, probably. We've been getting pretty lucky, I feel like, with the, with the Royal Serpent spawns so far. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Okay, um... I want to kill at least this guy. Or I'm just gonna go down the staircase, because I right-clicked too close to the staircase. That's fine, I guess. Okay. I got. I really gotta go out of my way for those heals at this at this point. I think. I think it's. I think I'm in too much too many dire straits not to. We are at floor 50, so at the very least we made it halfway to floor 100 so far. What's the time at? 18:15. Still got plenty of time. But the comp the competitive spirit in me wants to go as deep as humanly possible. Right click too close to the sun. Absolutely true. I think also the, the Vampiric Enchantment, correct me if I'm wrong on this, I think it heals more depending on the max HP of the enemy that you kill with it. So any heals that we can get are nice, but if we can kill like a big HP monster like a Royal Serpent and happen to get the heal off of it, I think we're looking pretty good. I think that's the smart play. Go for go for the heals here, Mister Mister Chi thinks he's so good with his one one challenge where he's like, "Ooh, get to floor one hundred without eating any food." We're we're taking that and saying that's child's play. That's way too easy, Mister Chi. Please step it up. Oh gosh, we're at Iridium bat levels. These things actually like they're not that hard to kill. But they hit, like, absolute trucks. Like, they'll do, like, 50-plus damage to you if you're not careful. It's very scary. I do have the max HP I could possibly have, except, like, I think if I take... If I took a different profession, I could have more HP. But I did... I did go out of my way to get the Iridium Snake Milk, a.k.a. the Snilk. As some... As, as connoisseurs of the art might say. Looking all right here, actually. Yo, we're almost at full HP, literally. That's pretty good. Okay. We can start speeding through these floors a little bit more here. There's a staircase at the end of this one. Let's just let's just speed on past. This is you can get yourself into trouble if you speed past too much like this. Yikes. But that's okay. We got the HP to burn. We might as well make hay while the sun shines. Just get out there. Get out of there. Okay. No Argon, not the Snilk. <laughs> the Snilk. 
it, is it is the Snoke the new Sap? Or is Sap still I mean Sap is like eternal as far as Sardew memes go in chat in stream chats and stuff. But I feel like Snoke is taking on a legacy all its own, right? It is best luck day. That's 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 I mean that's one of the few benefits I gave myself is that is that's best possible luck today. Which is very, very nice. Don't stand in the way of the the bug there. They can they can get you if you're not careful. Good stuff, good stuff. Sap and Snilk are both in use. What happens if you put sap in your snilk? Is it is that just like you ascend to the plane of Yoba? Oh, my monster musk. My monster musk has run out. I don't know how long that's been out for, but run invalidated. Oh gosh. Okay, that was a great heal. The fact that I got hit off that guy and then healed afterwards was very nice. Speaking of heals, ooh, an Iridium Bar. Uh-oh. Okay. It's fine. 57 so far. I don't want to get cocky here, but I feel like I'm doing... better. It's been, I'm doing better than I thought I would. Sap and Snilk, mind blown. By our powers combined. Uh-oh. I should just take the ladder. I was going to try and farm some HP, but it's not worth the risk at this point, I don't think. Get out of there. Uh-oh. This is an open floor. That's a, I see a lot of Iridium bats. I see a lot of Iridium bats in waiting in, in reserve. This is spooky. It's a little spicy. Okay, I need to I need to be smart about this. If I take them out like one at a time with my vampire blade. I might stand a chance if I get lucky here. Uh yikes, okay. Scratch that plan, I guess. Oh my gosh, what have I done? Get get out of here. We gotta we gotta bob and weave and get out. Okay, that was rough. <laughs> Did not go according to plan at all. And I'm afraid for my life. Uh, don't, don't pick up the fire quartz. What are you doing? <laughs> Trying to slam these royal serpents in the face, and Chloe's like, "Ooh, shiny red rocks! Yay!" Uh oh. Okay, it's fine. Getting that knockback is pretty clutch. I'm gonna kill the bug. Uh, I was really hoping that would kill you. Okay. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. The great Iridium Bat Sabotage of O2. You mean of 22? Uh, are you a time traveler? Secret time traveler detected in chat? Good stuff. A single heal would make me feel a lot more comfortable with my HP right now, I'll tell you that. Uh, that's not how you do it. I was- oh, oh, yikes. I don't even see those bats before it's like too freaking late. Okay. Uh, okay, I gotta- I gotta clear out this bat, but then I wanna use- No, what are you doing with the pickaxe?! I took 40 damage, oh god! <laughs> okay, okay, everybody chill out, alright? It's fine. Just just please heal. Please heal me. Thank you, 19. That's not nothing. That's not nothing. Confirmed actually. Okay, there's still a chance here. There's still a chance. I think that's that's a crab right there. So I wanna Okay. Alright, we're doing it. We're doing it. 62. We gotta make it to at least floor 69. Oh dear god, get me out. Get me out! <laughs> okay. It's starting to get a lot scarier. No word of a lie. It's starting to get very... Sp this is very... It's just, that dude just did 41 damage in one tap. Are you kidding me? 20... All right, we got we to gotta go back. We got to go back in, chat. I got... Harvey, I, I know. I know. See, it's... I, I get it. I messed up, okay? I messed up. What floor did I get to? 64, 65? What was that? What chat, what was that? I got to get back in there, though. I gotta, I gotta exit the title. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop you over here for a brief second so that you don't see my spoilery save files, and then I'll bring you back in. Okay, we're back. Uh, I gotta get my, oh, I gotta get my lucky bow again. Lucky, luck, lucky bow. Time loss. 
put the hat away, and uh, get going. 65? 65, okay. We still have more than half of the time for the allotted for first hour here. The allotted one hour self-imposed uh, time restriction that I gave myself. So if I'm fast and smart about it, I can absolutely make it deeper than floor 65. We can. It was still a great run though, thank you Fiona. I felt pretty good about that. Alright, let's get in there. Okay. If I can get lucky with my with the shafts and stuff, that would also be very helpful, very beneficial. Getting lucky with staircases right off the bat though, that's that's at least nice. Get at oh my god. Why? 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 Okay. It's too many royal serpents. Too what did I just say? They were all hiding on the second run. This is where all the royal serpents came to came to roost. What do you? I'm gonna die on like floor four. <laughs> oh no! This is not great, chat. Chat not looking good for for my prospects here. It's fine. It's everybody. It's it's all good. It's off to a rough start. A bit of a rough start. Just get some of the slimes here. Get them to heal you. That's a good heal. Twenty HP heal right there. 38? Okay, we're, we're making a comeback. 20 more, and it's like it didn't even happen. It's like it didn't even happen, okay? We're looking nice and fresh and fancy and clean. Yeah, not not my not my finest start, that's for sure. It was definitely a lot worse start than the, than the first one. A single staircase, though, please. I literally haven't seen a single staircase. Okay, thank you, okay. Alright, mummies and ghosts, oh my. Uh, gotta sneak past them. They hit like trucks, though. Yikes, okay, that was that was not the best play, but we made it out just fine. Chat, do you think it's better to, like, even if I'm on low HP, to just, like, use the gavel and, like, clear out enemies as fast as possible to, like, get off the floor? Or do you think it's worthwhile to, like, use my time carefully and methodically to ooh, to try and heal with my vampire dagger? I don't. I honestly don't know whether it's better to, like, clear out these monsters as fast as humanly possible, or to try and save some of them as, like, potential HP reserves. Mummies just want a hug. Not today, mummies. It's funny how the slimes are our friends. <laughs> it's true, yeah, with the slime charmer ring. So nice. Okay. Very funny game. Wait, this was this was this was an infested floor on the last run too, wasn't it? So it's it's I think it's just seated to be an infested floor on this day. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna get these uh get these bombs on my hotbar. Try to use the dagger with the slimes to heal. That is generally the idea that I like to oh what the heck that I would like to employ. But these royal serpents make it kind of hard, because killing these royal serpents with the dagger is absolutely out of the question most of the time. That's some good, those are some good heals, though. These guys don't do that much damage, these weird squid kids. What is that? An enricher? That's not even a real item in this game. Nobody knows what an enricher does. There's too many slimes. There's so many monsters on this floor. Who signed up for this? Who signed up for this monster must nonsense? The squid kids are so annoying. They just do little like chip damage. It's not even like that bad. For me at least it's because they do like seven or eight damage or so. I think I gotta clear out this floor as fast as possible if I wanna have a chance at floor 65 or deeper. The most useless item. Bullet hell. Look at that, look at that void essence. Properly st properly stowed out in the void. Get out of here, stinky. There we go. Man, infested floors with monster musk are actually like the worst creation known to man. That's not even it, huh? Okay, at least I'll be close to the staircase when it spawns. If the if the monsters here don't spawn the staircase themselves. 
Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Spiral- What the heck? <laughs> Spiral floors are worse? My- This is- this. That's that's the kind of thing I'm worried about. That's the, that's the kind of run-ending floor you can see. If you're- If you have, like, a quarter of your HP left and you go into a floor and you see that, just, like, get your 07s in chat preemptively. <laughs> Holy moly. Did you see the number of serpents on that floor? That was actually just not fair. Get him out of here. Death spaghetti. Is that what the cool kids are calling it these days? Okay. Get, get him out of here. I was, I was really hoping for a heal off that royal serpent. That would have been huge. Okay. I think I can kill this guy with the vampire. That's a 55 heal? Oh my god. Actually, the vampire enchantment is busted. Who needs food in this game? This area is infested, by the way. <laughs> Yikes. Don't, I don't have enough stone to craft a staircase for this one either. This is rough. We didn't get... This one wasn't infested last time, so maybe it's just, like, completely luck of the draw. Get him out of here. Those things have so much, hip, so much HP. Uh... No, thank you. Not today. Okay. Just gotta go. We just gotta go fast. We gotta clear this floor as fast as humanely possible. Maybe it's maybe it's worth my while to go like out of the way for those big stones that I see on floors sometimes, so I can get like as much stone as possible and avoid this situation. doing all right. I think the Royal Serpents have, have gone home for now. Yeah, I'm not, not even worried at all about those squig kids. They can take all the pot shots they want. I heal- I kill so many monsters that I heal like- like it's nobody's business. Okay. Gotta be a few more up here, yeah. Why are these- the infested floors are always so big, too. Right, I'm gonna re-up on my monster musk. What floor was my goal? On my on my very first run, I hit floor 65, and I just want to get as deep as possible before that uh, that timer in the bottom left says one hour on it. I want to get as deep as possible. So deeper than floor 65, and then if I can get there, however deep I can get, that's 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 the goal. Floor 100 is a nice you know round number to to shoot for, whether it's realistic or not. Hold on, remains to be seen. Good, good. Uh, uh, some more shafts would definitely go a long way towards uh, towards that goal at the very least. I'm so slow when I don't when I when I when I don't have a, like a the speed buff from having killed a monster. I'm so very slow. Thank you. Almost almost beat me to <laughs> it was a, that was a race to that staircase. Oh yes, six levels. It's all right. Tw floor twenty four. We're doing all right. We still got lots of time. This is a lot of bugs, but bugs we don't don't worry too much about. There we go. You love to see it. A little spook. Thank you. Okay, that's great. That's great. G just give me in there. Got some pretty good luck these past few floors as far as just staircases go. I don't really need the heals off these guys, so I think the extra damage from the from the Crusader enchantment is going to be the way to go. We should have this concerned ape to tell the to have the squid fireballs apply a burn effect. Why do you hate me, Karita? <laughs> you just want to make this even harder. Uh oh. All right. That mummy is is Dunzi. What a dummy of a mummy. Don't taunt them. They can do a lot of damage very quickly. Thank you. Okay. We're out of there. Uh, I didn't get my hammer in time. My hammer, please. Alright, stop hammer time. Get in there. 
I do I do need to stop and heal at some point here, but I'm more concerned about the speed right now. But the oh treasure room, mega bombs actually useful. I can use any bombs that I happen to find in the in the skull cavern itself. Not that I'm not that I've been using them, I guess. So, all right, uh, this is not a good spot for a bomb because I don't want to like bomb myself. Okay, good stuff. Just line up, please. Line up for line up for my little vampire dagger. Actually, not a vampire dagger, but this one's a vampire dagger. Come on. Okay, that's good. That's very, very good. These mummy floors. I mean, I'm thankful that I can't get uh, that I don't get any royal serpents on these floors because they're the bane of my existence. But get away from me. <laughs> They're also not the best floors for healing, that's for sure. Like, the only thing I can heal off of are these ghosts most of the time. Oh, that's good, okay. It is gonna- that- that was a big hit, but that's eight levels. That's eight levels, that's pretty nice. I just gotta not take any kind of huge, stupid damage. I- I went for the heal. Do I regret it? No. Because I didn't take damage, at least. I'm going to go for the heal again on this guy. Good stuff. Okay. Didn't heal, but, I mean... <laughs> He's got to be... Uh... Okay. Get the heal. A heal off of a Royal Serpent is absolutely huge, if I can get it. Because they have so much HP, and that's what the that's the amount that heals... Or that's, like, what the heal amount is based off of. Yikes! Okay, not as, not as many serpents as it could have been. It was almost a lot worse. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly kill... Well, I mean, these bugs don't really give them that much HP. It's only two per. I re-up on the monster must just in case. Hey there, Autumn. How we doing? We're at floor 44 on the second run here. That was a little scary. If, if a single royal serpent had been nearby, that could have been uh, that could have been me done. That's big. Okay. Heal off the slimes. Slimes are a saving grace in this in this challenge. Undeniably. I need I need more slime heals. Okay. No luck. That's fine. We're just gonna have to go. Ah, uh, spiral floor. What's my where's my what's my stone at? I got 131 stone. I could I could staircase past the spiral floor. I don't think it's worth it. I really don't. I think there's enough monsters here and and our luck is high enough that we should get a staircase. We should expect to get a staircase soon enough. That was not a great hit at all. Okay. Is that a monster right there? That sure is. This was a mistake. This is this is <laughs> This is so stressful. I'm doing okay, but it's still very stressful. Get stabbed. You fool. That was a 40 heal. That was so big. Thank you, Rock Crab. Don't waste it. Don't squander it now. And don't stop me now, because I'm having a good time. I'm having a ball. The spaghetti eats you. Okay, that was that, that was a surprisingly small hit from a royal serpent. Normally they do 20 plus. That was a 12, so we got very lucky there. Thank you. Give me that staircase. Thank you. Go get it. Get all these stones. That was that was a pretty good uh, pretty good napalm ring activate there. We're using the napalm ring strategically for the first time in our lives. All right, heals please. Thank you. Any heals will do. Please sacrifice your HP for the greater good, my friends, my friendly neighborhood slimes. Hey there, Elaine. Welcome, welcome. All right. Did I have a staircase? I did not. 
Look, if, if I didn't know any better about how this challenge can so catastrophically go south, like, instantly, I'd be looking at our HP and being like, oh, this is, this, so this is just easy, huh? This is, this is Skull Cavern's easy mode? It really is, like, kind of amazing, like, that we're not eating any food at all. I didn't think it would go, like, nearly this, like, it would be nearly this doable. Need to stop being late, no worry, Aruz. People got things to do. Places to be. Lives to live and, and loves to give. Get out of here. Alright, thank you. Not the biggest fan of the mummy floors. Chat, are the mummy... There's like... There's like... Mu uh, is, it, is the mummy m movies... Is it, like, just one mummy movie, like, The Mummy, with, like, Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Or are there multiple in that series? I honestly don't know. I've never seen any of those movies, or if- or The Movie, if there is one, but I always hear, like, the worst things about it. Do Crusader hammers exist? They do! Like, you can put the Crusader enchantment on any weapon that you want. I just, uh... I went for a dagger because I feel like a target targeted strikes against against the mummies was a smart way to go, but I'm starting to regret my decision. Same with this, like I could do like a bug killer hammer. Oh gosh. But the main reason I think this hammer is actually so good is that um is because of the artful enchantment. Otherwise we would be we wouldn't be able to use this the special move on it, which is like the main draw of the hammer, nearly as frequently. The mummy with Brendan Fraser is amazing, the second one less so. And the Tom Cruise one, just no, dot dot dot. Good to know, Jesse. Floor 65! I didn't even realize we were that close. Chat, we still have we still have like 18 minutes to go, too. I just have to not die on this floor, and this is a this is a new moon record from from our first run. Those were some clutch uh some clutch shafts, what can I say? Alright. I'm gonna try and get a heal. Try and get a heal off the Iridium Bat. It might be folly, but at least they didn't get hit. I'm gonna re-up on my Monster Musk after this floor, probably. When I get the chance. Uh, <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Bob and weave, bob and weave. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. That was a lot of damage. Ouch, but that was 11 levels fallen. Okay. Re-up the Monster Musk, just, you know, to be on the quote-unquote safe side. This mummy is giving me scary vibes. Like, a single hit from any monster might might actually just kill me. I need a heal. I need a heal, like, right now from one of these ghosts. That would be huge. Hey, Lisa. Welcome, welcome. All right. Just, just get him. Gotta take it slow and steady. I've al I'm already at floor 77. That's uh, already a new record. I can be happy with that. Now I just gotta take it slow and survive as long as I can here. I honestly think... Nah, these floors are not good for healing. I just gotta go. What did I just say? <laughs> okay. What the heck? I didn't even see that mummy. That mummy it came out of nowhere! Not even... That's... Okay, that was floor 78, I think. Floor 78. Is that correct? That was- they just double teamed me so fast! That was insane! Yikes. Well, there you go. Alright, we still got time though. I still got another 15 minutes. If I get real lucky with my shafts here, I might have a chance. There might still be a chance. Still a PB. Chat. Give me a thumbs up if you think there's a chance that we can get deeper than floor 78, I think it was. Deeper than floor 78 on this run in the last 15 minutes of this challenge before the one hour mark is up. Thumbs up if we can, thumbs down if not. Exclamation point optimism, by the way. Always remember exclamation point optimism. Alright, we're going. Yeah, no food allowed. <laughs> 
No food allowed and only bombs and staircases from the supplies that you get in the cavern itself. We got lots of thumbs ups in chat. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. You're filling me with great positive energy. I'm going to do my best to, to speed run this challenge. We're not going to dilly dally on floors. We're just going to, we're going to go in and we're going to mess up faces. We're going to get all the shafts and just have a grand old time. I think there's, I think there, I think there's a real chance. There's a real chance we can pull this out. I just have to not be dumb. Thank you, thank you. Didn't want to really deal with that floor. All right, just get him, just move him out of the way, honestly. Good stuff. Ugh. Not a great hit, but that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and, like I always do, get this bomb and get this right here. I, I, maybe if I make more use of the bombs that I've, that I do have access to, then I can, uh, maybe then, that that maybe that's the key to getting deeper in this shorter amount of time. It might be. Right now, I just gotta, I think I just gotta kill monsters, honestly. Was that a blueberry tart that I just picked up? What the heck? <laughs> All right, uh, quick bomb, quick bomb of this spot here. I gotta, I gotta get out of there, though. There we go, perfect. Good bomb usage, good bomb allocation. My... No, please. Stop. Why? <laughs> Why? What is this floor? Get, I see the staircase. I just gotta... Just get him out, just get me out of here. Just get me, just get me out of here. <laughs> Holy moly, that was a, that was a rough floor. That was rough. That, this, this is gonna be even rougher if I'm not careful. All right, speed running turns out not to be the best play when it comes to this this challenge. Who would have thought? It's our. It's all right. We can still still do this. It's still we can still do it, chat. <laughs> There's still a chance. There's still time. There's still twelve minutes. Twelve minutes left. Easy now. Take it slow. There's still twelve whole minutes. Okay. If we plan around, because we know that floor 9 is an infested floor. We know that floor 9 is an infested floor, so that if I can plan around that and get enough stone for that before I, uh, before I get there, then we might have a chance here. There might still be a chance. Lucky bow, you gotta have it. I should have had that probably prepared ahead of time, as well as, you know, the music, so that I don't have to do this every single time. Alright, we're going. Just upload your newest speedrun video. I can't wait to check it out there, Wyatt. I got, I got, I got to do my best to go back to that Haley marriage speedrun and try and shave off more time so I can beat your time. That's how, that's how speedrun get optimized. This friendly competition. You think the optimism blue man should also work for hubris? What are you talking about? This is not hubris. This is not hubris. This is not copium. This is not any of those things. This is pure, unadulterated optimism. And that's all there is to it. Okay. Little spicy. Don't die on floor one. Don't die on floor one. Could you imagine? The shame. The shame I would feel for years to come. Okay, we're good. We're not good. Code red. Mountain Dew? Does Mountain Dew Code Red still exist? And does it taste like cherry tomatoes? Never had it. Alright, I gotta heal. Much as I would like to speedrun this, I got I, I do have to heal. You can't speedrun when you're dead. You can quote me on that. That was good heals, okay. Good stuff, alright. Just, uh, just one staircase, please. That's, a, that's also a good heal, alright. I think it's time to switch back to the gavel. 
You believe in Argon? Thank you very much, Rai. Rai right. The flaming hot Mountain Dew is awful. That's not a real thing. Like flaming hot Cheetos, X Mountain Dew. Those those are two independent things that you consume in tandem. They wouldn't put them together like that. There'd be no need. That would just be that would just be foolish, foolish. All right, I guess we're mining out of this floor. It's real. It's not real. Chat's trolling me again. There's no way this flaming, flaming hot Mountain Dew. Absolutely no shot. Thank you, thank you for the staircase mummies. That was pretty clutch. This is not a clutch floor layout. This is not. This is not cool. This is not Chloe approved. I'm not, I'm not going to have anywhere near enough stone to make a staircase for the infested floor. If I can find a shaft, just skip the infested floor that we know is going to be infested from our previous runs, then maybe. But I'm just going to have to take it. It's not infested. I thought it was like floor nine has been infested literally every other time. What? What's the difference? What's the difference maker? Look it up during the next death. What do you mean next death? You don't believe that I'm, I can go deathless forever now? Like what if I just never died again? Suddenly becomes like a 12 hour stream. You tune it you tune in towards the end, I'm on floor like two thousand. Not likely to happen, but there's there's a universe out there where it does. I just need the speed buff, please. We got another eight minutes to go here. This area is infested! What are you talking about? Why? <laughs> Why would you do this to me? The most cursed infested floor of all time. It's, it's actually not that bad because it's, it's pretty, pretty well open. So it's easy to get around to all these monsters and kill them, but... It's still a little... It's just a lot. It's just a lot, okay? stuff. Okay. I think the royal serpents are dealt with at the very least. That's always the worst part for sure. We're at full HP. How did that happen? You know, infested floor is kind of a blessing and a curse. They're, they're a curse from speed, the p speed perspective, which is unfortunately what we're most concerned with right now. But they're a blessing from an HP perspective a little bit because you can kill so many monsters and heal up so much by the vampire ring. Yo, Noel, how's it going? All right, we're good. We're good here. We're out of here. This is a tiny floor. Should be highly doable. Good stuff. Uh, yikes. Okay, just take it, take a one mummy at a time. Maybe that's the problem. Is that a, is that? I mean, if I were to do this challenge again, you know, I mean, maybe daggers are not the way to go. Maybe maybe a crusader enchanted hammer at the very least would be the way to go. I think I think the daggers for like the concentrated kill on uh, on bugs and for like healing purposes is smart. But maybe a crusader hammer could be big because you get so many monsters on those uh on those like ancient pyramid like floors I do think the problem with the crusader hammer might be as well that um the ghosts get knocked back so much already like the knock, but you're, you're not. You're only gonna get like one hit off on them with the hammer. So that, that it, it would have pros and cons for sure, but it might be worth testing out. That was impressive. Thank you. Ow! That was that was not impressive. All right, just there we go. That's beautiful. I don't know, 
there's definitely ways to to optimize this beyond what I've done. I mean, I we don't optimism optimism is is the motto around here. Optimal is is a very different thing, and we're, and we don't really concern ourselves with that in this stream. But maybe I should a little more. Floor 27. Floor 78 is the goal. We got to get there in in four minutes, just about. <laughs> I think there's still there's still a chance. I still believe. Exclamation point optimism. That's what we're all about. There we go. Good stuff. Treasure floor. You love to see it. Little white turban. I think it would clash with the outfit a bit too much, but thank you for the thought anyway. I'm healing. Man's got three and a half minutes left in his speedrun and he stops to heal. <laughs> he's almost at full HP anyway. Oh, come on. Alright, get bombed. Yo! I, I, that's, such a that's such a big brain play. Did you see that? I got a heal because I was holding my vampire dagger. When the bomb went off and killed that mummy, I didn't even consider that potential play. So you can heal off the mummies, you just have to be... You, I mean, you have to have bombs from other monsters, number one. So that's a bit of a barrier to entry as well. But that's that's kind of cra That's kind of crazy. How much time we got left? What's the time, time check? Around about three minutes, we can do this. And still, see, making just gotta make, just gotta you just gotta believe, chat. You just gotta believe. You just gotta believe. We're not we're not stopping for the treasure floor. Sorry to say, we'll just I'll always have to wonder what was in there. It can't be staircases, I'm pretty sure. So so many so many ghost death sounds. I love it. Hey, they're purple. Okay, alright, we're going, we're going. Excuse you? Uh, excuse you. Thank you. A bat floor, the rare red bat floor. Actually kind of rare, for real. Not even clickbait. Alright. It could have been an auto petter. Hey, an iridium needle, because we don't have enough of those already. Yo, there's a shaft right there. Jump in. Six levels? Chat. Chat, there's still, there's, it could still happen. We just have to get, like, many, many shafts in a row. Many good shafts. I'm in the market for a shaft. I need it to be as deep as possible. Four levels, not great. Not great, admittedly. Okay. Get the Crusader Dagger going. That's good. Get toasted. The Iridium Bats are a little spicy. The Staircase, though. Staircase, though. We got, we got less than a minute. We got less than a minute to go 24 floors or deeper. Go. Just go. Just, just run. We just got to get a, a 25 floor shaft. It's all it takes. I'm living on a wing and a prayer. I'm gonna freaking die. <laughs> well, that's one way for it to end, I guess, you know? Perfect timing. Perfectly planned as all things are on this stream. Well, that was that was something else. Chat, there's still time. There's still time no, no, there's not time. There's no more time. But, hey, you know what? Floor 78, that's my record. I'll take that. That was honestly... That was a lot of fun. Floor 78. I challenge anyone watching this. The fashion... Did I lose the fashion hat? Rip. <laughs> challenge anyone watching this to using these same restrictions. See if you can do better. I would love to see it. I mean, I know people can do better. Guaranteed. People have done better in probably harder challenges. 
But for me, I think 78 is a pretty decent depth. Seventy-eight's really good, TBH. I mean, without food and everything, yeah. Type the restrictions into your Discord and issue a challenge. Hey, it might not be a bad idea, Wyatt. Might not be a bad idea. All right. Um, let's try, because, like, I don't want to end this stream right now. Go ahead and stop the timer there. That's, like, the main crux of the challenge done. We'll get get the timer out of here. But on, but I feel like we could uh, let's let's play around a little bit. Don't tempt Habu; he'll go to four three hundred plus. He definitely could, yeah, a hundred percent. Especially because he wouldn't be using daggers like a madman like I am. Send it to Z; he totally hosts it. I'd love to see Z do it. He did that volcano dungeon challenge. Yo, should I do that volcano dungeon challenge? I could do that, I guess. Just, I mean, I I haven't prepared for that at all. What is it? It's like where you go to, you go like debug Volcano 10, and then just, uh, you gotta go as deep as you can in the volcano. Okay, I'll, I'll try that. I'll try that one on for size, and then I might come back to this in a, in a minute to, to do more of, like, this challenge. But let's see. So we gotta, I gotta prepare, is the thing, because, like, this loadout, this is insane. We're, we can't use this for the volcano. So let me go ahead and, uh, well, we'll just exit the title first. I don't want to show you my spoilery save files, so hide that real quick. We need better boots. These boots are made for walking, though. Okay. Let's give this volcano dungeon, like, was it Easy Lily's volcano dungeon challenge a try? Just very impromptu here. Immunity boots cause fire. So let's, let me go ahead. I've got all my, my mods and stuff in here. Let me just, uh, I'll just go ahead and drop all this stuff in. What don't I need, probably? The infinity gavel plus artful enchantment. Is that still good in the volcano? Is this still, is this still a, the weapon that we want? That I want to rock with? Iridium pickaxe, probably need. Do I need any daggers? Do I need, do I need any spec daggers? Immunity boots cause fire, yeah, I sh I'm gonna go ahead and let's see. Uh, mermaid. We got the mermaid boots plus eight immunity. I think that's probably the way to go. They kind of clash though, it's fine. We wait, we can just, uh, just as easy as this, right? Hold on. Take the watering can. I will need the watering can for sure. Wrong order here. Okay. Let's go to the forge, I think. And get, well, first, I mean, first order of business, you gotta do this. You gotta just get this ready to go. And I'm gonna put away what I know I don't need. We don't need the monster musk, we don't need that. We don't need the fashion hat right now. Uh, we don't need bug killer, crusader, or vampire. We don't need any of our daggers. Uh, I'm gonna need a watering can. Well, I'm gonna just spawn in like the. Well, I guess no. Probably like just the default watering can is actually better here. I'm not gonna have animation canceling, which is gonna make this rough. Are there any crusader enemies? I don't think so. All right, and let's go to the forge real quick. Hey there, J Nuggets. Welcome, welcome. All right, we want the bottomless enchantment on this uh, watering can. That's just like a no-brainer. There we go, bottomless. Um, what's better on the iridium pickaxe? So we don't really need efficient. Well, we don't need energy. Is not a concern. I'm actually going to go ahead and spawn in another iridium pickaxe because I like having this efficient one for the other challenge I was doing. But we'll try. If I if I don't have uh, animation canceling, is it good to go swift? Am I bringing a slingshot? Probably. Powerful is powerful or swift better here? 
Does powerful allow me to break the to break the rocks in like one hit, whereas like a non-powerful one would not? Powerful, powerful. People are saying powerful. We're gonna go with powerful. Okay, powerful. Infinity Gavel, Artful Enchantment. I don't know if my professions are good, but I don't really feel like changing them either, so. Uh, rings. Let's concern ourselves with the rings here. I don't... What What are the best rings here? Probably, I think... Um, well, let's just unforge these real quick. Well, you know what? I'm going to keep these ones. This is my Skull Cavern challenge setup here. Um... Oh, I should probably like change the title of the stream too and stuff. And it, it's fine. We'll, we're gonna. I, I'm gonna go back to that Skull Caverns run, but we're just taking a quick little diversion to do this Volcano Challenge run. You want the one that one shots rocks? That's gonna be powerful then. Okay. Uh, so rings. I think yeah. I see Savage Ring. I think that's a smart play. Savage Ring. What else is good? Is Napalm Ring good here? Is Napalm Ring a smart play? Yeah, powerful, I think, versus Swift. We got Savage and Napalm. Um, what else? Because we got we can get two more rings in here. What are good rings? Just oh, can I wait? I can just like uh, I always forget. I can like sort this right. Uh, equipment rings. Let's see. Most movement will be through lava. I mean, but any... Mm. Okay, well, if not napalm, what else? What, what the heck is this? That's scary. Iridium band. Is iridium band worth it? Gonna lurk a bit? No worries, Andrew. Is iridium band worthwhile? Lucky ring? I don't think lucky luck is gonna factor anything in here. The blank combined combined ring. Does anything give give crit chance? I think uh probably this one here. Yeah, the aquamarine ring. One iridium band. We could we do also have the ruby ring, which increases attack by ten percent. Topaz ring increases weapon precision by 10%. It literally means nothing. C could consider the slime charmer. There are tiger slimes. That's true. I don't know if that's worthwhile. No slime debuff. Yeah, I think an iridium band, napalm ring. Well, I don't know. Napalm ring. Should, is crab shell ring worth it for the defense? Probably not, huh? What about the... Was, isn't there another one? Yeah, this one. The immunity band. Top of the ring is made of enchanted purple wool. Immunity is really good in the volcano because of that burn debuff, right? I feel like the immune... I feel like the immunity band is kind of... Might be kind of clutch here. Go slime over iridium band. Should we go... I get, You know what? Maybe I'll go slime... I'll go slime... Well, if I if I have the... Uh, I can go slime over Napalm Ring, but if I have the immunity, then that helps against slimes anyway. Immunity shoes, too. I have the mermaid boots, which I think is really good. I, th I think we're just gonna... We're gonna try this setup here and just see how it goes. Okay. Uh, I need a slingshot. Master slingshot with a bunch of explosive ammo. Okay, that's gonna be handy. I don't I actually don't even know if you need this pickaxe that that much, but I think it's probably smart to have it just in case. Let's see. The Master Slingshot, Infinity Gavel. Should I have a secondary weapon of any kind, or do you think the Infinity Gavel is good enough? You already have 8 immunity. That's an 80% chance to resist Debo. Switch the immunity band. That's 120%. Okay, interesting. 
I mean, that's a, it's a nasty debuff, the burn, the burn thing. Pickaxe is definitely worth taking. Uh, I should also get... We need food. Magic rock candy, probably. We just get a stack of that, because we can just mod in whatever we need for this challenge. And then... Triple... Shot espresso. More speed. Club is enough, you think? I mean, the club is good, but I think like some of the some of those monsters are so so light that the knockback with the club is kind of kind of nasty. Don't really need a pickaxe with a slingshot, but it takes a lot of practice. I think if, I have to be true to myself here, chat. I gotta be true to myself a little bit. We gotta throw a little extra argon sauce in, in this challenge. We're gonna go three of those. Throw a little sauce in here. You gotta do it. I could have done Dwarf Dagger, but I think the Dragon Tooth Shiv is just going to be all around better here. I mean, honestly, the Iridium Needle is, is the best, I think, but Dragon Tooth Shiv is just cooler. That's Crusader. We don't want that. We want Artful on this, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Okay, is that good? Are we set up? Is this everything I need for to try to try and tackle this challenge, you think? Hey there, Steph. Welcome, welcome. You're new here. Happy to hear it. You've watched all the Price of Perfection VODs. That's a big time commitment. All right, we're going to take a crack at this. For those who are just tuning in, uh, I know that the t title of the stream does say Skull Cavern, but we're going to take... A crack or two at uh, this volcano dungeon challenge that's been making the rounds. Basically, what it is is that you can input a command into the. Uh, actually, let me go ahead. I'm, what, here's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to save my setup so that I don't have to rebuild all this. You can input a command into the like into your mod console in order to warp to floor ten of the volcano dungeon, which doesn't normally exist. And then you can proceed from there to go to like floor 11, 12, and however deep you can get. And basically the challenge is to get as deep as we can in a single in-game day. What does Artful do? Artful, yeah, decreases the uh, time. Like it cuts the time that you can use your special attack in half. So yeah, I'm gonna. I, I'm not anticipating getting very deep here. What's the deepest anybody's got in this challenge? It's got to be like a lot, right? Easy Lily, the one who actually, like, initiated this challenge, I think she got to, like, floor 56 or something. And I think Unsurpassable Zed got to floor 60-something. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna get anywhere near that range. I'm pretty bad. I'm actually just, like, pretty trash <laughs> at, at this sort of speedrun stuff, but we're gonna get- I'm gonna give my best shot. Habu got to 64. Okay. I mean, if I get anywhere near that, I'm going to be... I think let's shoot for floor... I'm, I'm going to be realistic with myself. I'm going to say we're going to shoot for floor 40. I'm going to shoot for floor 40. So I guess, do I leave time time frozen until I get to the volcano? Is that okay? Or do I do I unfreeze time right now and then like put put in the command to warp to the volcano? Unspassable Zed got 57. No bombs or stairs. Well, you know what? That's a good that's a good call out. Bombs. Bombs are a good call out. Stairs doesn't matter in the volcano dungeon. Pretty sure. Actually, you know what? We'll just do, we'll do it like this. Bombs is a good call out. Thank you, Steph. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh unfreeze time. Well, actually, you know, we'll do we'll do we'll do it this way. I'm going to go ahead and go over here. I think the command is this, like debug, oops, debug volcano 10. Okay, and here we are. 
So now, so now I just, uh, what is, why is this music still playing? That's cursed. All right, so now I just got to go. This is max daily luck. No, mo no other crazy things. We could have gotten max daily luck just by sleeping anyway. So, so this is volcano. This is volcano run. We're taking a volcano run for right now. I'm gonna give it a try. Where's my time at? We got to unfreeze time. All right. Hi, toast gamer. Bye, toast gamer. <laughs> All right, chat. Unfreeze time, and then we go. Three, two, one. Let's get this done. Oh wait, I got I should I got I got a speed buff. Okay, we got a speed buff. All right. I don't know the layouts of these floors like by memory or anything like that. So it's going to be a little spicy off the start here, I think. Isn't it only 10 levels? If you put in if you put in the the debug command, then you can go, um, like, debug Volcano 10. It takes you to floor 10 of the volcano, which doesn't normally exist. And then you can go from there. Yo, a mummified bat. That's clutch. I think we just avoid those guys for right now. All right. Off to, off to a decent start, I'd say. Off to a decent start. It feels so nice to be going so fast all of a sudden. With, as opposed to, like, the, the Skull Cavern run I was doing, where I didn't have, like, any speed buffs. Alright, I think we gotta do, like, something like this. I probably should have gotten a, a better watering can, but... I think with animation cancelling, this one's faster. But without animation cancelling, it's just kind of a... kind of a tragedy. Kind of a sad state of affairs. I could have oriented my tools a little better, too, probably, for this. That's fine. Uh, I guess I think we we water across here. My goal for this first run at the very least, I don't know how many of these runs I want to do today, I want to try to do, but I think floor 40 is a reasonable approximation of my skill. The end is on level 20. No, this just goes like on forever, basically, like as deep as you can possibly go. It just keeps going and going and going. So basically the challenge is to get as deep as you can in the allotted time for a single day. Alright, I should probably bomb that. I mean I could I could have slingshotted that. That was kind of kind of a waste of time. It's all good though. Oh, oh that's not even the right way. Come on. You could get so good at this challenge. I feel like if you like grinded this and nothing else, you could do this so optimally. These buttons are going to be the real killer here. Like getting buttons on a bad layout of a floor can absolutely destroy your time, right? Like it's going to be a bad feeling to get to to the end of a floor and see that gate. But we've been pretty lucky so far. Very lucky with the button layout so far. I think. Excuse you. Getting lots of golden walnuts as well. Very important aspect of this challenge. Not really. Easy Lily showed off floor 5,000. Yeah, you can get like very, very deep into these, uh, into this place. Alright, just, just keep running. Just keep running. There's nothing blocking my path today. Oh, except that. Okay. Speak of the freaking devil and he shall appear. Where is this button? I see a button over here. I'm gonna also re-up my coffee just because I don't know how quick that's how soon that's gonna run out. Is that is this the only one? I don't think that was the only one. I didn't hear the little ka-chunk. I'm so bad. There it is, okay. A lot of time loss, admittedly. But it's fine. It's totally fine. Floor 18 is still pretty good so far. Buttons are the worst, absolutely true. To the bane of every volcano runner's existence. I gotta admit, this immunity is actually... I, I mean, I assume it's the immunity anyway. It's putting in a lot of good work right now. 
Uh, shoot. Oh, frick. Yo, that, pa that pause strats, too, actually could be kind of clutch, like pausing to switch tools and stuff, because it doesn't... It's not like a like a real-time thing. This one's a, an in-game time sort of situation. And in-game time does not progress when you're paused. Not the right way. Still have loads of time. We just hit noon here at floor 22. If my goal is floor 40, I think I'm on a pretty good pace. What the heck? Never, I've never seen a rock block the door before. I guess there's no reason that it couldn't happen. Uh, oh, I, I think I can... I think that's the way to go. This was not the way to go, probably, but we're here now, so... <laughs> probably not that much slower than than the alternative anyway, so... Hey there, Kelly. Welcome, welcome. This is a very fun challenge so far, honestly. I'm testing my, my combat and, you know, mining and navigation abilities in Stardew Valley. All, like, notoriously stuff I've never been that good at. But stuff that I could, that I would like to get better at, and the only way you get really get better is by doing, right? So I probably could have just like used the watering can to get around that very fast. Well, that's fine, no big deal. You know, watering can, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Get mummified bats pretty easily in the volcano. Isn't it like, it's like a 4% chance or something for, for a mummified bat from a rock? So, I mean, if you break plenty of rocks, then you're going to get it for sure, but it can easily uh, throw you off. If it's like one of the last things you need, it can be pretty annoying to go get, I would imagine. I haven't even used my freaking weapons, like, at all, by the way. I'm not killing any monsters. Which, I don't know if that's a good strat, or if it's just, you know, how things are working out for me. Excuse you. Thank you. I don't know if that's a common thing with this Volcano Dungeon run. Like, why would I stop to kill monsters? There's, like, literally no point. Frick. <laughs> okay, button. Shout, shout in chat if you see a button. I see one right over there. That's not it. Okay. Uh, there's nothing left down there. Button, button, button. My kingdom... Or a button? Any buttons? Any buttons? I'm scouring. I'm scouring. I'm scouring and scowling as well because this is, this is such such big time loss. I don't even. This isn't even the right. There's no. There's no buttons over. There is a button over there. Okay. Uh. I think I can get up this way. Alright, my HP looking a little... I mean, sure, I'll drink that. But also... Oh, no, I said sir, I said yes, I'll drink it. I think I clicked no, actually. <laughs> Alright. Run, run, run. And we're out of here. That was a rough floor. That was a rough floor indeed. It's okay, we can make it up in the back half here. Just gotta, you just gotta navigate. My navigation abilities are not necessarily on point at all times, but... I can feel myself getting better. I love that feeling when you, like, can feel yourself learning things. Like, I'm already thinking, like, okay, if I were to do this challenge again, what would I do differently, right? And that's the beautiful thing about video games. You can do this challenge as many times as you want. Uh, it's probably not the best play there, but it's fine. Just get through there. Just get through. There's so many rocks. This, this is what I'm starting to realize, is that the, the deeper you get in here, the more rocks just in general there are. 
makes navigation a bit of a bear. Ignore the monsters and bring food. That's kind of where I'm where I'm seeing that we need to go here. Glad that I noticed that button. Would have hated to have to run all the way back for that. Okay, but we know we're, we're on the lookout for more buttons still because that was not the only one. I see another one over there. That's it. Okay. We're out of here. That was, a, that was a very good button layout floor. We got very lucky with that one, I think. Just get through. Just get through, man. Okay, we're good. Quick litmus test. Thumbs up in chat if you think floor 40 is in the cards. Thumbs down if no. And take this, take this button floor into account now. <laughs> this is like our third or fourth button floor, isn't it? This is a rough, this is gonna be a rough one too, I feel like. Look at how many monsters there are. Big yikes. Alright, button. I'm looking for a button. A sing, a single button. I see a button. Please be the only one. That's it. Okay, that was it. That was it. I just gotta get. I just gotta get to the back to the door. I just gotta get back to the door. We got lots of thumbs ups in chat. Exclamation point optimism. Thank you. I appreciate it. That was that was a spooky floor to be sure. But we're back in the saddle again. All right, I'm gonna water across here. I think. Alright, that was probably not... That was a bit of a roundabout way to get through there, but that's fine. That's not the way to go. Just go radio silence for a little bit. Try and focus down the correct path here. Gotta soul read this volcano. Okay, we're doing alright. Doing all right. The, immun the immunity is actually huge. The immunity is so big. We're not getting any kind of debuffs here. Oh, come on. Okay, we're going, we're going. We're schmoving. Uh, this is not the best. That's fine. Just get through. Uh, watering can me, please. I'd love to see it. Okay, is this... Uh, is it, I think it's... Oh, it can be over this way. Look at how many freaking rocks there are. This is actually nuts. Oh, gosh. Okay, um, bomb me through. Bomb through there. That's not the right way! Bruh. That's a big time loss right there. You don't know what's going on. It's it's alright, Kiwi. It's alright. We're just tr we're trying to get as deep in this weird fake volcano place as we can. This place that shouldn't exist. Normally the volcano stops at floor 10, but with a certain certain set of commands and certain kind of magical prowess with mods, you can get as deep as you want to go. Floor 40. Coming in. All right, I need to. I need to up on my speed. Get all my buffs going. Yeah, Easy Lily's got a video about it on her channel. If you're if you're confused about what's what's going on here, which I can un understand being confused because this is not in the title of the stream at all. <laughs> Nothing relating to the volcano is in the title of this stream. This was just a very impromptu thing that I did after the thing I just did at the start of the stream. Yo, that's a good run. That's 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 a good layout right there. This, on the other hand, okay, you know what? I was going to say it's not a good layout, but it's a lot smaller of a floor than I thought it was going to be. Just go. Wrong way. All 
All right, we got this. Floor 40. We made it to floor 40, chat. That was that was my goal. So if nothing else, it's victorious for that. It is getting late now. All right, we're going up here. Just all through the lava. Straight up through this lava. Okay. Please. Where's the freaking door? <laughs> there's, a, there's no door on this floor. It's just not even fair. Actually, though, the, the biggest floor in Volcano Dungeon history. We have moved on from Skull Cavern to Volcano Dungeon. We're, we're just we're trying out Easy Lily's special challenge that she issued to many Stardew Valley content creators. Just an open challenge in general. All right, quick, quick heal, quick heal. We're in the last hour of the challenge. Floor, I, I, I think if I get very lucky with my floor layouts here, 44 might be in the cards. May, I, just give me floor 43. There's one more floor at the very least. I'd be happy with that. Ah, oh, frick. Get me through, get me through. All right, floor 43. What the heck am I doing? Just run. Just run. We can make it. We can make it. We can make it. It's a button floor. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right. Floor 43. Quick heal with the magic rock candy. Floor 43. You know what? Honestly, not that bad. Not, not that bad. Like I said, I was being realistic with my expectation of shooting for floor 40. I know my own skills, I know, know my own limitations. Floor 43 with like the most scuffed preparation of all time and no animation canceling is honestly pretty respectable in my in my opinion. Thank you very much. That was pretty good. I could definitely do I could definitely do better if I optimized more. I might come back to this at a different time, but I want to go back to to doing my Skull Cavern challenge because that's what I built the premise of this stream on anyway. So Sorry for my squirrel brain quick detour there. I know that that was a lot of fun though too, so. First trials makes it impressive, thank you. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and exit to, actually, do I need to exit the title? Actually, I probably, I probably don't actually. I should be fine to just, uh, if I do, I, I left all my supplies for the other thing I was doing in here, right? With an animation canceling, an upgraded watering can might be better as well. That's also very true, Hoshi. I know this is this is faster if you have the uh, if you have animation canceling and if you're good at it. But for me, it was not uh, definitely not the play. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and eat all this stuff out of my inventory here. Eat, eat, eat. Just just delete it all. We'll leave all the tools and stuff at the very least. All right, I'm gonna take a quick drink of water as per Nightbot's recommendation, one second. All right, I am back. So I wanna try, I, I wanna do, I wanna do this Skull Caverns thing, dude. I, I was, I feel like I could go so deep. I feel like there's, there's room for improvement here for sure. I need all this stuff. Let me put this away, this away, this away, this away. So for those who weren't here at the start of the stream, this is what we were doing at the very beginning is what, we're, what I'm gonna go back to. I'm gonna go ahead and... How did I have this set up again? It was like this. This, and this, and this, and the monster musk, and that. Okay. I think I'm gonna, I think, yeah, let's try this again. Um, but here's, here's the way, so here's the thing. So at the start of the stream, I did this uh, Skull Caverns thing. I did it for like an hour, where I went through with no food, no bombs, no staircases, permanent monster musk, Skull Cavern invaded. Oh, which I don't have the Skull Cavern Invasion quest anymore, do I? I'll have to go and, like, get that again. 
And uh, and I just tried to see how deep I could get in an hour, and we got to floor 78. Um, now there's two ways I could see progressing the stream from here to to continue with this sort of vein of dungeoning, of dungeoneering. Um, and I'll leave it. You know what? Let's set up a poll here. Let's set up a poll. So. Basically what I'm thinking is we'll go back to that challenge and see how how much deeper I can make it. But I can either do it like I did at the start, where I froze time via a mod and just see how deep I can get before dying. Or I could do it where I just see how deep I can get in a single day. So let's th those are the two options here. And I mean They definitely they have different different skill sets, and I could see it going either way. So I'm just gonna say Freeze, time, or no? Yes or no? I guess I can just say freeze time at that point. Freeze time. So should I freeze time and do this challenge and go as deep as I can, just test my skills to the limit? Or should I test to see how fast I can, or how deep I can go, given like a very limited amount of time from a single day? Make your voices known, make your voices heard. And while that poll is running, I'm going to go ahead and get the... Skull Cavern Invasion quest set up. I think if I was, because I was when I was messing around with this, I can actually do it like so. Or if I go to like day seven, and then I sleep. Then I can go ahead and just warp to Ginger Island. There's no warp directly to the Walnut Room, which is kind of weird to me. We can just warp to the island though. And go get the skull. I think this. I think because it's the same Monday as I got it on the previous, like when I did the full setup for this farm, then it's uh, it should be the same quests. I'm pretty sure. Have a look. Skull cavern invasion. All right, we'll accept that. And go ahead and warp back to the farm. Go ahead and rest it up. Got here, Razy switched to volcanoing. What's the Skull Cavern part? So if you look in the description of the video, there is a list of uh, self-imposed rules for the Skull Cavern. That uh, basically means no food, no bombs except for ones that you find in the cavern, no staircases except for ones you craft from the stone you get in the cavern, permanent monster musk, Skull Cavern invasion, and see how deep you can get. And right now, the poll... 66% of people want to see want me to freeze time again. 34% do not. I want to see how long you survive rather than how fast. I'm kind of with that. I, I feel like that's the that's the more fun way to do it in my opinion. So let's go ahead and try that out. I think it's a, I think it's a neat twist on it. It's because most of these speed runs and things you do in Stardew Valley, uh, it's like how fast can you get before the day ends. In this one, when you go time and be, just become a god and freeze time everywhere. It's, more, it's less about, you know, how speedy can you be, and this one's more about, like, your skill level. What's your skill cap to get as deep as you possibly can, given the setup? So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, now that I've frozen time, I'm just going to go ahead and save the day there. Exclamation point, Haley. Can I get a kiss before you leave? Nice, nice. All right. So let's get let's get to it. Let's just, let's not waste any more time here. For those who weren't here at the top of the stream, here is the setup that we've got going on. I've got an iridium pickaxe with the efficient enchantment, so I don't use energy, so I won't be able to replenish energy without food. Uh, Infinity gavel with the artful enchantment, max damage, just a very good weapon to have in general. Iridium needle vampiric enchantment to heal. Uh, iridium needle crusader enchantment to kill mummies and ghosts. Bug killer to kill bugs. Monster musk is just because we have to have monster musk at all times. Um, the rings we got gain a little health every time you slay a monster, and when I def and also gain a short speed boost when I slay a monster. No damage from slimes and kill enemies and explode enemies when they die. Are we all on the same page? I think so. Timbeeb, let's go get let's go get some some moral support from Timbeeb before we go. Where is he at? Farm's a little overgrown, not gonna lie. There you go. Oops, sorry, Timbeeb. He doesn't want the pets. Is it because time is frozen? He's not letting me pet him. Hold on. He's 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 neglecting my pets. 
I don't know what I did wrong, Timbio. I'm sorry to have slighted you. Rip. Alright. Time. Freeze my time. Yeah, Monster Musk doubles the amount of monsters that spawn on a floor, so it just makes it more challenging overall. I just hit him with a high damage gavel. You know what? That's entirely fair. That's entirely reasonable. Alright, I think Chloe is more than ready to undertake this challenge again. And now without the one hour time limit that I set for myself at the start, which I think was still fun. I think it was a good balance of, you know, skill and time kind of combined into one. But now it's going to be all pure skill based and just see how deep I can get given unlimited time here. So let's give it a whirl, shall we? Nice to be able to do these commands. They are some fun commands. I'll have to think of some new commands. We've had the, we've had the same ones for a while. I might have to, to mix it up a little bit. I mean, give you guys some more uh, toys to play with. Alright. Let's get going, shall we? Great start. <laughs> what what an amazing... See, this, this is the kind of start you expect on a challenge like this. This just perfectly encapsulates. <laughs> I could not have crafted a better floor for this challenge to start on. That was so good. We're going to set, set a timer this time? Not this time. This time we just want to go as deep as humanly possible. Well, as deep as argonly possible. Not to say that I'm, like, above human. Quite quite the opposite. I'm, I feel like I'm just, you know... I'm not as good as some of the other better Stardew Valley players out there, so... I'm sure some of them, like, I'm, I feel like with this, this rule set, within this rule set that I've crafted, Habu could probably just, like, go forever. Like, literally forever with no time limit. Whereas I don't think I am that, uh, I don't think I'm that nearly that skilled. <laughs> but, my, rec my record is floor 78, but that, w that was with time... Like a time constraint as well. So this, whatever, whatever floor I get to, if I get deeper than floor 78, does not count towards like whatever record I set. As far as I'm concerned, floor 78 is the is the one to beat. If you'd like to beat it. Habu is built different. I count six serpents. The scary thing is, that's not even like the most serpents you could see on a floor. See, like, if I was worried more about time, I could, I would just go for that ladder straight away. But because I got some extra time, like, I'm, like, I've got unlimited time now, I can take a little bit of extra time to heal. I don't want to, like, stop on every floor and kill every monster to get max heals. That's boring. Ooh. But I w and it also risks that. <laughs> Things where you just take extra unnecessary damage. Alright, we're just gonna go. How did that guy hit me? He t he just tickled me with his little whiskers and did 20 damage. Uh, I guess he's just gonna hang out over there. <laughs> Fine by me. Yikes. Alright, come on. I think there's a sizable amount of luck that goes into into this challenge as well. Because, like, there's there's luck, obviously, in, like, the kinds of monsters that spawn and the kind of floor layouts you get. Like, it only takes one really, really bad floor. Even if you're at, like, full HP, a, a single super bad floor. Not like the movie or the song or whatever it is. I don't even know what super bad is. It only takes one of those to absolutely eviscerate you from full HP. Habu is a star. Are you playing Didi? He's unreal. How does he do it? Uh, he's, I mean, he's just good at games in general, and he's, uh, and he's played a lot of Stardew Valley. I think that is the, that is the real thing. Habu is still human like the rest of us, despite what some of his clips may lead you to believe. A floor like this would be very scary if it was any other monster that was spawning in droves than slimes. I mean, it's still very scary, don't get me wrong, with these royal serpents, but the slimes, thankfully, with the slime charmer ring, makes this pretty doable. Let's me just focus down the serpents and be totally fine. Excuse you. Excuse you. 
Gonna try and heal up a little bit here. One mummy hug to die. It literally did kill, like, kill me in, like, two hits. Like, two mummy hugs, if you get a high roll on the damage, can absolutely annihilate you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love the special attack of the dagger so much, dude. I've fallen in love with these daggers. They're not good in the early game. I have learned that. Like, they're, they're real trash in the early game without enchantments or, or anything to speak of. Any skills or enchantments. At that point, you're better off by far using either hammers or swords. Alright, that's good enough. A slime Charmer Ring in some contexts is pretty OP. It's very true, yeah. I think without the Slime Charmer... I think the Slime Charmer Ring is like one of the like must-take rings for this challenge. At least as far as, like, with, with the strategy that I'm using. Alright, we're just gonna take that, I think. <laughs> and be out of here. Okay, alright, get it, get in the mix, just get in the mix. We got the HP to tank a little bit of damage here. No, oh my. Okay. Just gotta be cautious, just gotta be a little cautious. Get some heals going, get some heals going, please. So many slimes, look at all the slimes, dude. There's so many freaking slimes. Who needs a slime hutch when you can just, you know, monster musk your way to, to 10 million slimes? 10 million slimes and all you need is a knife. Uh, Alright, get, get that going. Oh, that was a bad timing. I need to get better about, like, weapon swaps and stuff. I'm gonna get my stone there so I know, so I can keep track of it. There's so much going on. You ain't seen nothing yet. Yo, I want to see a prehistoric floor. Could you imagine how many Pepper Rexes there will be on a prehistoric floor? I, I, we need to go until we see a prehistoric floor at the very least. That would be, that would be so funny. Like with mon between Monster Musk and an invaded Skull Cavern, which already boosts the number of monsters. I want to see a pepper. I want to see a prehistoric floor because they're basically like an infested floor, but it's only pepper rexes. So many big dinos. How many dinosaur eggs do you think you get from an infested pepper rex floor? You kill the serpents too quickly for me to count. Please slow down. <laughs> There's no time. There's no time to wait for 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 math. Unfortunately. All right, this is a this is a fine floor. The one saving grace when it comes to these these floors here with the ghosts and the mummies is that the monsters are very slow. The downside is is this to what you're seeing right now is that they can very there's so many of them they can just cluster up so quickly. We do have infinite time, it's true, but like I do have infinite time. At the same time, I don't want to be, like, a super boring and just be like, I'm going to take all the time to kill every single slime on the floor with my vampiric enchantment to get to max HP anytime I see a bunch of slimes. I don't think that's, I don't think that's fun. Part of me wants to, like, impose a rule. Like, because I, I foresaw that as a potential, like way to make this challenge really sweaty is just, you know, hang it on every floor and heal off these monsters that physically can't hit you. And part of me wants to impose a rule that's like, if you see a staircase or a shaft, you have to take it, like, if, as soon as you can get to it. But, I don't think that's, you know... There, there is something to be said about the strategy. Like, if you got, if you got the real time to burn to, to kill these slimes... Is it really a cheesy strategy? Yes, but is it also an effective strategy? I, I mean, it is. You're also not guaranteed to get lots of slimes on every floor. Yo, Pepper Rex, get out of here. You're never boring, honestly. I, I don't think that's true, but thank you. I do my best to, you know, keep things entertaining and keep and just keep talking in general. Cause like no offense to any other streamers, but it's not my personal cup of tea when I go into a stream and like the streamer says two words over the span of 14, a fourteen-hour long stream. 
that's not my if it's if that's for you and i mean there are some streams like layouts and, or stream formats i should say that are not conducive to like constant banter and stuff like this like if you're, if you're doing like thousands upon thousands of speed run attempts of a game for example then there's there's no way you're going to keep up any kind of level of coherent discourse for for that long if you go for like super super long streams so i can totally understand that and having like decent amount of dead air but how to inject some personality into it all right what's the build with the hammer it is an artful infinity gavel redressed as a uh as a dragon tooth hammer with max damage i put three rubies on that son of a gun i blew up the purple mushroom it's it's of no use to me i can't i can't eat it Excuse you. Oh gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna get out of here. That that heal was all I was hunting for, and now that, that serpent's right there. I don't think I'm gonna chance it any further than that. Ooh, okay, you know what? The, the just the normal swing of the hammer can be used for a little knockback when you, while I'm waiting for that special move to come back. Which is pretty okay. It's a pretty okay strategy. Would have been very nice to get a clutch heal off of that serpent, but that's fine. I could give it to Raz. Chloe is not concerned about friendship or anything of the like on this on this timeline. She's concerned with one thing and one thing only: spelunking. She also has no stomach bag, no no capability to eat food. 41, that was a good heal. Bloodshed. That, that really is what this challenge boils down to, I guess. It's like it's like it, it's like the purest combat challenge in Stardew Valley, because there's just so many freaking monsters to deal with. Speaking of, I'll probably need to re-up on my uh, I'm gonna take that. I need to re-up on my monster musk pretty quick here. Just in case, you know, gotta keep things fair. Fair for the monsters, not for me. You see how fast I'm killing these killing these guys? Alright, I'm gonna try and heal off these ghosts, maybe. The ghosts are so light that you can knock them back like a decent amount with just like a normal hit from the dagger. It's kinda wild. She can absorb life from her enemies. She is literally a vampire. Or at least has the has the properties of a vampire. How many mummies is it for the monster eradication goal? Do you think we can get the monster eradication goal on this, uh... Oh, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do here? I'm gonna play this smart a little bit, maybe? Or maybe a little cheeky? Get my vampire enchantment on? I did not heal off that, but that's okay. Okay. Excuse you. Heal me? I'm actually, I don't need that much of a heal right now. I'm doing pretty good, but pretty good is not going to cut it on a floor where an eight royal serpents come speeding out of the abyss. Shouldn't be going for those harder to mine rocks, honestly. I feel like when you get a mummy floor, you get like ten mummy floors in a row. You never get just one mummy floor. They're not good for healing. I'm not going to worry about it. 150 or 200 mummies. Thumbs up in chat if you think I could kill 150 to 200 mummies in a single run here before I die. Thumbs down if no. How many monster how many monster eradication goals do you think I can get before uh before dying here? I think there's a real chance I get like a thousand slimes, honestly. There's so many slimes. A hundred it's only a hundred mummies, okay. I you think I'll get three or four? Three or four per second, maybe. Okay, that's good. Uh oh oh you mean do you, or do you mean three or four eradication goals? This is not great. You know what you know what might be the play here? You know what might be the play here? 
Because we do have some bombs saved up from, from monsters. Do one of those. Little heal, little heal action. That was so that was galaxy brain right there. Maybe this is what you save the bombs for, honestly. Oh, I didn't have my vampire enchantment up, that's okay. Alright, I think we just uh send it like normal now. One at a time. The daggers are good, but they're a little, a little slow. All right, these dudes are just chilling over here, minding their own business, having a, having a little powwow. I'm sorry, but I have to kill every single monster. I guess I could, I could have made a staircase for this floor now that I'm looking at the stone, but I'm committed now. I think I need a crusader hammer instead of a dagger or sword. But the, but, but a hammer without the artful enchantment is so slow. That's the one thing that's stopping me, honestly, is that it would be so slow, but the mummies are also very slow, so maybe it would counterbalance itself. I can at least knock them out of the way with that one. It's pretty handy that way. Excuse me. Yo, oh, it's a shaft. That's great. We have max HP, too, so we don't worry about taking a little bit extra damage there. Still dealing with red bats. I don't think... I think these red bats show up because we're not deep enough to get iridium bats yet. Take a second hammer, especially for that situation. Probably worth considering, honestly. Get, get me down there. What the heck? Uh, okay. That's. I think that was four serpents. That's... Uh, they just did like 70... They just like comboed me for like 70 HP. That was a little rough. Alright, let's... Try and get something out of these slimes. Just a little bit, maybe. I don't want to lure those serpents back in. Oh, no, too late. Wait, maybe? Maybe there's a chance? I just want to heal off you. Okay, don't worry about it. Don't, don't heal off the serpents. Just kidding. We're going to heal off this serpent. Heal me? That was so dumb. All right. <laughs> I deserved that one. What the heck? Okay, this is not looking so hot all of a sudden. Uh, it's risk versus reward whether you want to go for, like, looking for more monsters or not, because you're likely to find more serpents more than anything. What the heck? Get, get over here. Get back here. There's so, many, there's so many of these little crabs, dude. I think these crabs actually have pretty high SP, too, so if I can heal off of them, then I'll be... Looking pretty ha I'll be pretty happy with that. Hope you feel better. Thank you, Dark Mimi. I am feeling better so far. For sure. A lot better than I was in, in, in peak COVID hours, anyway. Alright. That's a good heal. That's the kind of heal you're looking for. That's the thing, is that the heal from the vampire enchantment does not proc very often. But it only takes one good heal for it to to really pay dividends, to really turn a bad run around. Get back here. Especially if I can get a heal off one of those serpents. I think I've gotten it like one time where you heal off the serpent. Excuse you. This crab is just it just runs away so much. So many so many little crabs, dude. They're all running. Get back here. Oops. Yo, there's a shaft over here too. Paid to come looking for that shaft, I guess. All right. Let's go down. 11 levels. A little spicy. Not gonna lie. This is not a great floor for healing either. So I think we just go. And re-up the monster musk because I feel safe to do so. All right. Take it very cautiously here. Just, just little steps. Little steps forward so that you don't get overwhelmed by a bunch of serpents being activated all at once. Yikes. Little pot shots from, from these guys are not great. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna... I mean, that's, I, I'm so scared of the Iridium Bats. I really am. I'm gonna, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here! <laughs> Don't stab the exit. Uh, Is this just a bug floor? This is just a bug floor. 
bit of a blessing and a curse. They're hard to heal off of these bug floors. You only get like 2 HP per bug, thanks to our vampire ring. But there's also no other monsters. That's good to remember. Let's get all... I, mean, I think the 2 HP, I mean, added up amongst all these bugs, as long as I don't take any damage from the bugs, which I realistically shouldn't. Okay, do, do the smart thing here. Just farm a little HP real quick. Do special slimes damage even though you have the slime ring? It looks like it did. I think they're, I think the attack that they have where like you hit the slime, well quote unquote attack, where you hit the slime and like the, uh, like a stacked up slime. And their like little piece bounces all over the place. I think that can still hurt you. But the slimes themselves, touching them cannot hurt you. Good stuff, good stuff. Excuse you. Okay. I think that's pr that's a pretty good amount of healing. I'm not going to go too much more Moe than that. Or he could put, pull you down really long and manage to dodge that <laughs> as if I'm a pro gamer. Yeah, honestly, COVID, it's, it's still lingering on for me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Like, I get tired very easily still. That's the main thing that I feel from that is lingering from COVID for me. Which is annoying. I also, like, when I get tired, I also get dizzy with COVID. So, like, literally pretty much every day since I've had COVID, about halfway through the day, even if it's not a very strenuous day, I'll just, like, suddenly get dizzy. And it's that kind of dizzy, you know, the feeling when you get that you get when you haven't eaten in a long time and, like, you get the hunger shakes and the hunger dizziness, you're all lightheaded that way. That's what it feels like. And that's what I thought it was at first, like, the first, like, couple times I got it. But, or at least the very first time I got it. But then, like, I eat something and it doesn't go away. In fact, it usually just gets worse because it just, like, happens to get worse over time. And I'm like, great. This is just my life now, I guess. But it has gotten slowly better over time, so it's only it's only a matter of time before it's, uh, before I'm back to 100%, I think. How to manage to freeze time? That might be a useful thing to know how to do. It's from a mod. If if there were if there were some weird glitch in Stardew to to freeze time, that would be huge. That would be revolutionary. But no, it's just from a mod. I just have it on to test how deep I can get with this uh, with this rule set in place. Yo, Monster Slayer goal complete. Mummies have been slain. What do you think is the next Monster Slayer goal we're likely to get? Next to mummies. Do you think we, do you think there's a chance in heck we, that we get the Serpent Monster Slayer goal? Or maybe maybe even the Bug Monster Slayer goal, actually. Now that I think about it. I'm killing a decent amount of bugs. I'm gonna take that. Only three levels. Reward. We'd have to leave the, leave the place to get the reward. And if I leave, then there's no coming back. Uh oh, it's always scary when it doesn't kill them in one hit from one special attack there. All right, good stuff. Hundred and twenty-five bugs, two hundred and fifty serpents. That's a lot of serpents. I don't know if there's any chance, depending on how deep. I <coughs> Ooh, pardon me. Depending how deep I go here, I guess. Hello, my mummy friends. Have I gotten any staircases yet? <laughs> that I just, like, skipped on? I don't think so. I think, I think we're still waiting for a staircase. All right. Just gather round, friends. <laughs> There's so many mummies, dude. I mean, the monster musk, obviously. The monster musk gets... I feel like the monster musk, or just like monster spawning in general, gets much more potent later in the in the Skull Cavern. I didn't know if... I don't know if that's an actual mechanic that exists. That, like, more monsters spawn the deeper you get. But it kind of feels like that, honestly. Alright, there's royal serpents in the air. I can smell it. Or these guys as well are also scary. Back 
Hector Radiant Bats might be more scary because I feel like they're faster. And they come and they, they hit like trucks. And they come at you in droves. I did beat my previous record. We beat we're at floor 80 now. Floor 78 was my previous record, but that was with the time constraint factored in as well, so. Still, it'll be cool to see how deep I can get here. I'm still holding out hope that a, that a prehistoric floor will show up for us, because I think it'd just be really funny to see all... to see how many dinosaurs we get on a prehistoric floor. That's good. Star, you bats are so mean. Those bats are the worst even on a normal run. It's so true. All right, this is this is good. I think I'm probably just gonna go. I don't want to chance my luck on this floor. It feels like one that could really hurt me a lot if I'm not careful. Speaking of, just get that guy out of there. Uh, get okay. I guess really. Oh, okay, it's a bug floor. It's another one of these. Oh, man, I love these things. See, imagine if we get to a prehistoric floor, and it's it's like this, but just all... Instead of bugs, it's Pepper Rexes. Imagine that. That's, that's what I picture a prehistoric floor to look like. Don't you want to see that? All right, we do have a shaft there. There's so many bugs. So many bugs. Oh, don't, don't run face first into a bug. It's, it's very easy to underestimate the bugs, honestly. You just gotta stay out of their paths. It should be very easy. But if you're running around too fast, it can be a bit of a hassle. Alright, I think that's that's some good bug healing right there. I think we're good. Pepper Rex goal complete in one floor, could you imagine? Uh, get me out. Okay. Mmm... Just, just stick, just stay up here for right now. Let them come to you. Let them come to you. Okay. Yo, rusty spoon. All right, I gotta heal. I gotta heal on this floor for sure, if I can. Oh my god, it hit me. Please no. Okay, stay out of the path of the bugs. I have to heal. I have to. I have to. I have to find heals on this floor. Don't. <laughs> Okay. Slimes, please be kind to me. Our HP is in a is we're in dire straits here. This is a red alert. This is well, I guess it's more of an orange alert right now. Do the pepper rexes have a danger dangerous variant? They do not. A single heal proc from that vampire enchantment would be pretty nice right about now. In lieu of that, we just have to go ahead and kill as many bugs as I can. <laughs> okay. You know, just the amount of monsters we've killed on this floor, I think we've made up a decent amount of HP. Like, I think we made up for one of those, uh, <laughs> for like a single one of those hits from, from the serpent. Okay. Boss Rex, that'd be so cool. I wish there were boss monsters in Stardew. I hope in Haunted Chocolatier we get some boss monsters, that'd be fun. Three levels. Okay. Floor 95. Oh. Guys, floor 100 is in sight. I don't know, it's, I mean... It can go belly up very, very quickly. Like, very, very quickly. Yo, this is not that bad of a floor. For a second, I thought I didn't have Monster Musk on anymore, but I still do. It can it can be absolutely catastrophic. Just out of nowhere. So bear that in mind, but floor 100... It's getting closer every second. There's gonna be one floor that has, like, just a bunch of royal serpents and iridium bats. 
that swarm me all at the same time. And I feel like that's going to be the death knell. Argon will make it to Chi. Unfortunately, Chi won't actually be on 4-100, because I already, I already went and got the Snilk. To maximize my HP before doing this challenge, because I, I kind of needed the needed every advantage I could get, given the amount of restrictions I put in place here. On Chocolatier Combat is supposed to be harder too. I'm looking forward to it. Like Stardew Valley Combat, it's definitely not the the, the high point of the game. I I still have fun with it. Uh, get me out. I still have fun with it for sure. But it could do with more complexity. And more difficulty, I suppose. Like, I mean, it should, go, it should, I guess, prove to you that it's not the most difficult thing in the world. When I can do something like this, where I don't have any food. And I can still, uh, I can still make it to, like, floor 100 almost in the Skull Caverns. That is also a good thing, like a, like a good note towards, I guess, the, the complexity and build diversity of the game now that in one version 1.5, yo, that's floor 100 right there, is that, um, like, the vampire enchantments and stuff, if you build around it, can actually be pretty, pretty viable. All right. Floor 100, baby. We made it. We actually, I actually beat the Skull Cavern Invasion quest. Ten bombs out of that, too. That's actually useful. All right. So Skull Cavern Invasion Quest is actually done, but the invasion monsters are still here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's a royal serpent, that's for sure. <laughs> All right. How much farther can I get than floor 100 is the real question now. With enough shafts, anything is possible. It's 100, no snilk, breaks skateboard. I feel that. I'm sorry, I, I I went and got the Snilk ahead of time. I didn't think it would be that concerning. This might be a problem. Um, okay, just, you know, just be careful here. Uh, this mummy hugs, get away. Okay. Just, just set them up and knock them down like little undead dominoes. Little undead dominoes. My favorite pizza restaurant from the under from the underworld. Okay, I managed to pull that one back. It's still not great as far as our HP goes, and definitely not if I'm doing stuff like that. Still, also haven't even seen the staircase yet. I think it might be worthwhile to try get a cheeky heal from from the mummies here. Cheeky little heal. No heal. There's this there's three staircases from one bomb. What the heck? Actually wild. All right, I don't think sticking around for I mean 2 HP is 2 HP though, right? I think a 2 HP from these mummies. Get toasted. No one out pizzas the hut. I don't think I've had a Pizza Hut in years. I mean, like I was, I'm trying to think of the last time I had, and I'm like, it's been so long that I honestly couldn't tell you. Nothing against Pizza Hut. It's just I never really go out of my way for it. I guess. Oh gosh. I think my folly is that I end up waiting for the dagger special attack to come back and it doesn't take and I feel like it's gonna come back like a frame before it does, so I click the button, nothing happens, the mummy comes and hits me for a big chunky 30. And then I'm not loving life at that point. Okay, I don't think I worry about healing off these guys. We've made it to floor 111. Gotta love the palindromic floors like this. One second. I'm, tr I'm trying to get some heals with my vampire dagger here. 
could be clutch. Or I could just take 32 damage and <laughs> and hate everything. Okay. Got to be careful here. Got to be very careful. What's our HP at? 40? I think a mummy can do more than 40. I'm pretty sure. I'm, in fact, I'm, I'm confident that a mummy has done more, more than 40 to me in one hit before, so... Oh, come on. Good stuff. Okay. One ele eleven is the best number. Eleven's a good number. Quick check and chat. How deep? How deep do you think we're gonna be able to go? We're at floor one hundred and eleven. I never, I never thought it would be like this easy to get this deep. Honestly. Of course, you know, knock on wood. How deep do you think I can realistically go? 150? 150 seems pretty reasonable to me. 127. That's a that's a that's a bold guess. That's very specific. I I, I respect it. Putting your putting your reputation on the line like that for such a specific number. If I die on floor 127. Then you can have my channel. Just kidding. But what if? What is this stream? Hello, Van. Welcome. We're we're going as deep as possible in the Skull Cavern, given the restrictions listed in the description below. I fell six levels, by the way. Those restrictions for those who don't want to don't want to read are uh, no food, no drinks. Permanent monster must, still cavern invaded, so basically a hard mode and like tankier monsters and more monsters. Um, no bombs except for the ones that we find in the cavern itself. No staircases except for the ones that we can craft from the stone in the sta in the cavern itself. There's serpents on the air, you can smell it. Hold on, I gotta focus. But yeah, that's basically that's basically the gist of the of the challenge here. And try to get as deep as possible with time frozen like this. That way you don't have to worry about in-game time being a restriction here. I can just focus purely on gaming, being a pro gamer. The integer limit. Don't think we're going to go quite that deep. Although those shafts might beg to differ. I feel like I haven't gotten a heat. Oh, okay, I'm just going. I'm gonna go. Those, those royal serpents are so scary. Four one twenty nine, by the way. We've pa surpassed the four one twenty seven prediction. I'm gonna quickly do this while I'm thinking about it. Uh, I really thought that. I thought for sure that guy was about to hit me. I'm gonna go ahead and bomb this. Because these guys have so much HP. If I can get a heal, 39 heal, that's so big. And a staircase. That was absolutely the, the, the clutch play. Clutch play of a lifetime. Excuse you. Go, go, go. This is a nice chill floor. Not just because the slimes are wearing sunglasses. Which makes me feel at peace anyway. Yo, full max HP? Who would have thought that by floor 131 we'd be at max HP? Not for long, though, <laughs> if, I, if I'm not careful here. Alright, just go. Where are my mummies at? Well, there's a ghost, at least. Does Monster Musk not work B past floor 100? What the heck's going on here? Sometimes you do just get lucky with the monster spawns, I guess. Like, Monster Musk doubles the amount of... Oh, that was the wrong thing to kill a mummy with. Monster Musk does double the amount of spawns you get on a floor, but, like, double one is just two, so... <laughs> Alright, get me out of here. 
this area is overrun by monsters. I think this is the very first time we're going to go ahead and, and make use of this rule right here to craft some... Uh, I, I can't get rid of the sap. I'll get rid of the prehistoric vertebra. I think we got to do that. Infested floors are too scary, especially this deep into it. I just don't think it's worth the worth the risk. What is the luck? I, it is max daily luck. That is one thing that we uh, did make sure of. Prismatic Shar, by the way. That poor... I just had to put that bug out of his misery. Living a life trapped, between, trapped in a single tile. Going so deep, dude. Okay. The staircases are coming fast and furious. You love to see it. Yeet. Why is this so easy all of a sudden? <laughs> be careful, be careful what you wish for, I guess. I still want I still want my prehistoric floor, by the way. My kingdom for a prehistoric floor. I'm getting a little cocky. I can't even lie about that. And it's it's showing. It's, it's very much showing. Oh no. I'm throwing. Help, I'm throwing. Yeah, I need I need heals. I need heals like right like yesterday. Okay. I also want to get these guys out of here because they're... Oh, that was a good heal. All right, 22. Not the best heal, but not the worst. We'll take what we can get. All right, we're good. <laughs> we're back in action here after a couple clutch heals. I don't mind it. 150, here we come. Literally went straight to 150 via a shaft. I never thought I'd see the day where you could get to floor... 150 in the Skull Caverns without any food. Turns out vampires are OP, I guess. I almost, when I was making the idea, when I was coming up with the idea for this challenge, I was almost like, well, maybe because you can use bombs and staircases from the stuff you get in the caverns, maybe you should be able to use the food that you get in the cavern as well from, like, monster drops. But that would have made this, like, way too easy, I'm pretty sure. Welcome back, Fiona. What are we doing now? We're just going as deep as we can. Without any food. Without any... Without any more restrictions. Without any bombs. With all the restrictions in place in the description, I should say. Get toasted. 12 hour stream incoming, maybe? Probably not. <laughs> I don't know how long I'm gonna last here. But it's starting to feel like, you know, if I if I play my cards right, you could literally just go basically forever at this point. Especially if they keep giving me these mummy floors, dude. Turns out mummy floors. Not so bad. Well, when they're like nice and open like this, they're not so bad. When you get lots of mummies clustered and like nowhere to nowhere to move, that's when you start running into problems. Or if you just you know stand there like a dummy and take 70 damage from two back-to-back -back hits. Okay, get me down. I respect the pizza discussion in chat. Is Snilk percent a thing? Get this, get the Iridium snake milk as fast as possible. That honestly sounds like a hilarious speed run. It would take a while though because like there's a lot of steps involved. If you go straight from a like a like a vanilla farm, like a fresh farm, it would take a long time to get to that point. But long, long speedruns are, they happen all the time, right? Isn't there one speedrun that's like 500 hours? 
Like, that's the world record. I don't think that they play for 500 hours straight. I'm pretty sure you would literally die. But I think, like, there's something in the game that takes an exceedingly long time. And so you have to, like, wait for, for so long. You gotta wait for, like, two weeks or something. What was I doing? I was- I'm, why am I killing the serpent with the freaking crusader dagger? What is wrong with me? I'm just- this, this is hubris? Exclamation point hubris? It's not a real command. But maybe it should be. More rabbit's feet, please. You know, to spice things up a little bit here, I think I am going to enact that rule that if I see a staircase or a shaft, regardless of where my HP is at at the time, I just got to take it. Instead of instead of trying to, to, to farm up HP. I think that makes things more, more interesting here. I think that sounds like fun. It's probably going to result in my death sooner rather than later here. But all good things must come to an end. Why do the monsters I kill explode? Because I have the napalm ring on, which causes monsters to explode when they die. Very handy for clearing out large sections of rocks, especially when you don't have uh, bombs to fall back on. Oh, prehistoric floor! The Pepper Rexes! Ah. <laughs> Yo, I love it. Can I can I make my home here? That's a lot of dinosaurs, baby. <laughs> oh man. Okay. I forgot that bees were a thing as well. What the heck are what the heck are these monsters? There's so many Pepper Rexes. <laughs> Is this the land before time? Dinosaur eggs? I gotta make room for some dinosaur eggs. You know it to be true. Uh, we're gonna get rid of Dwarf Scroll 3. How many dinosaur eggs can I get from a single floor? Are dinosaur eggs supposed to be rare? I love Pepper Rexes, dude. They're so funny. Part of me wanted to staircase past this floor, but another part of me is like, I can't, I can't do that. Also, a, a decent opportunity to heal that I'm squandering because I'm just standing in the way of fire. Literally. More dinosaur eggs, please. That's a lot of pepper rexes, dude. <laughs> Dinosaur mayhem. Is that everything? Okay, that's it. I love how Argon always picks up the sap to throw away first. You caught me. I always see it there, and I'm like, I don't need that. But if I throw it away, I know chat's gonna, like, riot, so... Although my chat's not as bad for that. If you're ever in, like, an unsurpassable Zed stream, and he says anything related to sap, chat completely explodes into a cavalcade of just those, those three letters. That's it. Yo, nice heal. Sap, Dent, and now Snilk. I don't know the lore of the Dent. What's what's the lore of Unsurpassable Zed's Dent? Does anybody can anybody inform me on this? Is it just because it's like his hair is dented, or his head is dented? I I don't understand. I don't understand the Dent. I do know about Snilk. I don't know about so much about Dent. Headphone dent hair? Oh, I see. I see. That makes sense, actually. You just gotta have shorter hair, forehead. I'm just being, like, reckless now. Turns out this challenge, not that hard. If you play your cards, if you play your cards right, I feel like I could, I could just, you know, I could take on the world. I might never eat st food in Stardew Valley ever again. He 
goes too long between haircuts. I mean, that's the problem. When you start, when you have like a face cam and stuff, I don't know why I'm mining a single note of Iridium, by the way. When you have like a, when you have face cam, your face and your hair and everything about you becomes like part of your brand. And then it becomes like a subscriber goal or something to, it becomes a subscriber goal to like change your haircut or dye your hair or something. Speaking of, by the way, I did know, I, I just remember this right now. I think there was a, there was a member who joined earlier. <laughs> There was a new member that we got earlier, so thank you very much to the new member. I don't see your name in here right now. Let me actually see if I can... Uh, no, no new Super Chats or members yet. I know that's a falsity because I saw a new member, but I don't know. Either way, regardless, thank you, thank you for your generosity. Excuse you. Thank gosh, the the that's that's a long serpent right there. That's a that's a long boy. What the heck? <laughs> Cue the X Files music, man. You joined earlier, Katie. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Get some argon love for Katie in chat. Appreciate you. Appreciate your generosity. Thank you so much. Sorry, sorry, I missed it earlier. I was I was flooded by something else. I don't quite remember. I haven't had to mine for a staircase in a hot second. It didn't appreciate you talking about how long it was, so it left. You know what? That's fair. If someone saw me for the first time and just was like, Look at how tall slash short that guy is. I'd be like, alright. I'm a peace out, I guess. You mean the heal? Galaxy Soul, you know what? We gotta take the Galaxy Soul. Just because it looks so pretty. Kind of a yikes. Unsurpassable Zed gets Z from me though because I consider this how he identifies his professional name. It's true. It's very, it's highly disrespectful of me to call him Unsurpassable Zed all the time. But until he corrects me on it, I'm just you know. I think it's I think it's fun. I think it's fine. I would never call him that to his face probably. But just between you and me, chat, we'll 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 keep it our our own little secret in joke. But yeah, it is, it is definitely part of his brand, and I should probably respect that, but it's too fun. Zed is now part of my brand. Quote-unquote brand. So I gotta uphold that, too. It's, it's, a weird, it's a weird situation to be in. It's part of the lore here in our chat, exactly. Every stream's got its own lore. Every community. We're gonna make it to the floor, like, dang 200 here. And this is even with, like, the new rule that I'm taking every staircase as, or, or shaft as soon as I see it. What is happening, chat? Have I finally gotten good? Or am I just getting lucky? Probably, like, both, honestly. Definitely more luck than good. Okay, this might be the end of me. <laughs> this might be it for me, folks. Yep. <laughs> That's what I get for talking about it, I guess. I was like, oh, we're going to make it to floor 200. Here's 10, here's 10 royal serpents and an iridium bat all at once. Get yeeted. <laughs> oof, oof, oof. Oh, that was fun, though. What was that floor? Was that floor? Did anyone catch the floor number? Floor 183, something like that? Death Spaghetti? Deathy Spaghetti? My Iridium Needle! My 992 Monster Musk! I lost so many items. How dare I? 
or 185. It was it was in the 180s, 185. Thank you, Rose. Thank you, uh, Pelinar. And then we just get this nice jaunty tune after all that chaos. Man, I feel like I was like... I feel like how I felt after I watched the movie Descent. Where, like, you go, like, into a cave, and, like, it's like the whole movie takes place in that cave, and you just feel so claustrophobic and dark and and cold and threatened all the time. And that's how I felt for, like, the past however long that was. And now I'm back here, and I'm like, oh, man. I'm just, like, I'm back in the land of the living. Eat a snack? Chloe deserves a snack. For sure. Have a cave carrot. There you go. <laughs> After all that, Chloe just gets a nice little cave carrot. Three dinosaur eggs, though, eh? They're not bad. All right. Well, I think that was fun. I liked. I liked that. I like test. I like testing skills that I'm not usually using in Stardew Valley, or that I'm not uh, very adept at all the time. And I want to continue with that train. I think going uh, going forward with streams. So I might do more speed running. I might do more other stuff. Um, feel free to leave suggestions in the Discord as well for other streams you might want to see. But for now, I think I'm going to call this one here. Because, uh, I didn't really have any... I mean, it's it went... <laughs> I had the plan, I executed it. Everything went according to plan, you could say. I am become chaos, destroyer of stream. Thank you all very much for tuning into this stream. Let's go... Let's go end things off... Pr I mean, why am I walking? I got, I got the, I got the cheats. Might as well use them. Snake milk speed run. Just got on here. Sorry, Nico. Oops, Tim beat him. Sorry. I smacked him again, and he's, he's still upset. He's still very upset. I can't blame him. Honestly, can't blame him. Why is it till, still 6, 10 a.m.? Time is frozen. We can unfreeze time. Finally let the, the world return to its natural state. She just got here as well, so sorry, Neocat. Either way, thank you all for tuning in to watch my surprisingly decent performance when it came to that challenge. I hope I've inspired you to, you know, step outside of your comfort zone, do things in Stardew Valley you might not otherwise be inclined to do. I had a fun time with this, honestly. And I look forward to more expansion of my horizons in the future. I will see you hopefully on uh, Monday. I'll be posting the new stream schedule over the weekend, and we'll get back on Monday with, uh, I'm not quite sure what yet actually. I still have to figure out what I want to stream and which day I want to stream it and all that stuff. I do have a, a seek, I have a super, all right chat, because you stuck around so long or you happen to be tuning in at the very end of the stream, don't tell anyone, but I have a super secret project for next Friday. You You won't see any of it. But it, it may involve another content creator. But it's, it's so next Friday. There won't be a stream next Friday. It'll probably be next Thursday instead. So, uh, you know. All very hush-hush. All very hush-hush. Either way. I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> Came in at a good time. All right. Have a good night, or good day, or whatever, one and all. <laughs> Have a good weekend, I should say. It is a long weekend, isn't it? Enjoy the long weekend. Hey, I appreciate you. Have a good long weekend. Tim Beeb appreciates you. Chloe appreciates you. I'm gonna get out of here. Have a good night, everybody. I'll send you off with the usual fan art compilation, and we'll see you on the stream on Monday. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and have a great night. Bye.